Today, we're going to be trying five viral techniques for how to make art on mirrors using resin. We've done a lot of resin art before, but never any that look like this. And we're going to start with this specific technique from Courtney Kinnear Art that you guys sent to our subreddit. Yeah, it seems to involve mica and alcohol inks onto a mirror, and it leads to a really cool effect. But let's see how easy or difficult it really is. We're also just guessing that it's mica and alcohol ink because the video goes by really fast. It goes by so fast. And it doesn't say. So, you know, let's see. All right, so guys. Thank you for turning me on. Thank you, thank you. Right at the beginning, a quick start to... Resin time, resin time. Do, 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 resin time. Can you turn me on? Resin time, yeah. Ah, AC for my face. I know. <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> That's as we nailed the intro. All Thanks, right, awesome. chat. Here's the mobile camera. Thanks, baby. And I'm gonna get to mixing resin. Yay! <laughs> Normally we do this offline. Oh geez, oh geez. I already had the first fill of the day. Don't worry, we can't see it. We you definitely sure? can't. No, we don't see it. Okay, oh, hey, good. I'm glad you can't see it. No, nope, that's embarrassing. Can't see it. Can I have a paper towel? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you can't see that. No. See what? We resin. You know, guys. With all resin pours, you need to be prepared for the chaos that's inevitable. Like spilling. <laughs> it's something out of my control. In your defense, they were really full. <laughs> they were really full. They were really full. These are fresh ones. Uh, middle button to go back to default? Yes. All right. Cool. Where are the pumps? Sometimes we use the pumps, sometimes we don't. It just depends on what volume we're doing. This volume was kind of on the edge of it making sense to do the pumps or not. Maybe we should have, though. <laughs> yeah, I thought this would be faster, and since we're live, I kind of wanted to go fast, but going fast is what always gets us in trouble. And you probably shouldn't go fast with resin. I'm just going to do this so it doesn't, like, flow. Yeah. Because that resin will never cure, guys. When you just have a spill of, like, part A or part B, yeah. that's what you really want to make watch out for, because that won't cure. Yeah. If you spill this, it's not nearly as bad. Because it'll cure. Yeah. And then you can deal with it. But that's why we always put down, you'll see in all of our videos, we'll put down some sort of like catch-all above, um, above our workbench so it doesn't get on our wood. And we can like, you know, take that off afterwards. And do you remember when we started pouring? Um, let's just say it was 3.15. Stop at 3.15? Stop. Uh, wait, 3.15? 3.20. Oh, what? 3.20.15. 3.21.15. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we, for those of you guys who know, we have a clock right here, and that's how we know how long we need to stir the resin <laughs> and for. And it's 3.22 right now. <laughs> and uh, Caitlin was just like... Glitching. I don't, know, I don't know what happened. Just then. <laughs> I was thinking about foil, okay? <laughs> and I just started saying numbers. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Let's say you've been doing it for 30 seconds. So. <laughs> so, there's another way to know if the resin is stirred enough. If you can look at it and you don't see any like part A, part B separation, and it looks really cure if it like, sorry, if it looks really clear and there's no like warpy lines in there, that's another way that you know that it's fully mixed. Yeah. So. <laughs> Time is hard. <laughs> <clears throat> Caitlin, do you want to describe the colors we're going for for this first pour? Yeah, so we're going to try to match the example piece that we showed on screen because we really like how those colors looked. It looks like it's kind of magenta and orange with maybe a hint of purple colors. Um, and we're going to try to do like a 
like a slight dirty pour technique maybe, or maybe we'll just drizzle it around and like let it flow. I'm not, I'm not totally sure. I think we should do the hand swipey technique yep, like yep, she yep, does yep. in the video and see if that works. Also because if we're using a bunch of heat guns, that's going to be super annoying to you guys, even more annoying than these fans. Um, and uh, like we said, it, it kind of looks like maybe it's some mica, which tends to have kind of like a pearlescent sheen and be a little bit more opaque. But it also looks like it's some alcohol link, which doesn't have the pearlescent sheen and it's more transparent. Um, again, we're just kind of guessing, but I do think it'd be, be cool to mix um, mica powder resin and alcohol ink resin. Yep. So even though we're guessing, we're, we're still doing something we think will look cool, even if it's not exact. Let's mix up one batch first, just in case we get the ratios wrong. Then we can like adjust, you know what I mean? One batch of what? <clears throat> one batch of any color. And then let's pour it on the mirror and smear it and see what happens. Cool. All right. I'll do orange. Yeah, just um, give me one second to switch to mobile camera since no one can see anything. All right. Not us trade places. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello? You need to get it awake it? it? No, it's on. Try it again. Oh, no. Hmm. I need to troubleshoot. Oh, it's off. Is that supposed to be on? Yeah, that's supposed to be on. I never turned it off. Uh, uh, Coco? Coco? Strange. So wait until it says that it has a channel. Oh, okay. the battery died. Oh, that would make sense. Okay, how about I start with the top down? Yeah. Once it says it has a channel, then I'll, uh, I can always switch to it. There we go. Oh, that's good. Honestly, that works. And they can see your beautiful face right up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> that actually might be a good amount. Yeah. It might be perfect. Do you want to do the pour? Do we not want to mix them all up? No, I just want to do this a little bit. Just to like see what it looks like. See how transparent it is. Okay. Ready? Yeah. This feels weird. I think when it thins out, it'll be more transparent. Yeah, like it's orange. But I think that's the max amount of mica that we can do, honestly, because it's a... Uh... No, there's still some reflections under there. Hmm. It's still cool. Yeah, I see reflections. The funny thing is, like, I might need to turn this light off because it's just adding so much glare. Yeah, yeah. It just looks like purely blown out. It looks like spilled ketchup. Like nope. watered down ketchup. Not that light. I think it's number one or this two. This light. That light. There you go. Okay, yeah, now you guys yeah, can see look, it better. Look at the difference that makes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Also, okay. I, I pushed this because yep. it has a channel, but... Oh, I need to switch back into this mode. Do it again. All right, cool. There you go. All you right. want to finger paint? I'll do a little more pouring. Because it seems almost too opaque when it's that thick. Or does it? You know what? I, I think... Leaning into the alcohol ink might be better because, like, I like the color when it's that thick. It's just more opaque, so you don't get, like, the mirror effect through it. Yeah, but I think mixing the two would be fun. Yeah, do you want to mix up an alcohol ink? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let me just that. It's so weird. We're so much darker now. I know. Okay, I'm just going to do some impromptu lighting oh, changes. Boy. You going to boost that one? Yeah. Let's see how it looks. I just need a... Evan's reaching for a tall light. He is turning it up. 
It is being brightened. I think that helps. I'd stop there. I'd stop there. All right. I think that was pretty good. <laughs> they joined the dark side. All right, let's mix up a mica. Which one do you want to do? You mean alcohol ink? I mean an alcohol ink. Let's do the one that I opened. All right, let's do it. It's open, the magenta one. I'm going to half this. Yeah. Just in case we change the raci ratios. Sounds good. Now, in the inspiration, the out, it was kind of like an orange to like this pink gradient, right? Yeah. With like maybe a little purple mixed in to the, on the pink side. Okay. So I should pour this on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure none of these are getting hot. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. That's fun. That's fun. You know, I also have orange alcohol ink I can grab. It's so much more, um, Oh, that's that's the vibe I want. It looks like it looks so cool. Oh Here, my god. Let me switch to um top down? Split yeah, top? Yeah, top. Oh, yeah, split top. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. It's like very reflecty. It's very it just like looks like the coolest gel ever. Yeah, I, I think like let's mix, the... let's mix let's mix a little bit of mica in here and there. But I really like the alcohol ink effect. Yeah, I'm gonna grab an orange alcohol ink. All right, cool. Since I'm gonna we... pour a little bit of orange down here with the pink. Sure. And then kind of like massage them together. Yeah, I like it, I like it. It's cool, it's very cool, it's very fun. <laughs> you're right, very you're messy. Gonna, I'm, I'm just going to be the 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 um, rubbing boy. The rubbing boy, the massage Cause, master. Yeah, because uh, I can no longer touch anything without resining yeah, it. Yeah, you are fully resin. Looks like '80s ooze. Yes. Very very ooze like. Okay, everyone that's watching live likes the alcohol ink better. Well, a few people did. Do you want me to mix it with some orange alcohol ink? Yeah. Here, I'll do it. Let me do half of that. Yeah. It is starting to get a little warm. I know. I noticed that. Not I super wasn't going to bring it up too much, but. I'm going to do this here so you guys can see. Yep. Now I can do it while you work on the others. Can you do make me a purple? Yes. Whoa, she made a dark orange. <laughs> she did such a well, it's healthy, gonna be thin. She did such a healthy squeeze. Yeah, I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh no, that's actually great. That's actually lovely. I love that actually. I'm also mixing up a very dark purple. It just looks black. <laughs> <laughs> oh know? no, I'm resined now. It's fun. Oh. I like it. I like it. And I would say let's concentrate some purple at the bottom because purple and orange won't mix nicely. Okay. So I think the magenta is like the fusion between the orange and the purple. All right. Keep on mixing. Okay. I'll keep on mixing. Um, what do you want? You want some more magenta? More I magenta, think for the more, um, more orange resin. I'm okay. going to mix up a whole nother batch. I think we're running a little bit low and we still have a lot of mirror to cover. Yeah. I think we need more. I think we've just judged. Should I double it? I would mix the same amount again. Same amount again. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna just go ahead and pour some pink in the yeah. middle. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to like get these generally in position. I do want to heat gun it just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I kind of like also, since we're doing this in a whole bunch of different batches, each color is a little bit different. Yeah, because I tend to do it a bit more concentrated. Yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it too. Need a baby powder. <laughs> Guys, baby powder is crucial to resin crafts, or at least it is for me. Because I always, before I double gloved, I, I committed a sin. I got resin on my in, inner glove 
Oh no. On one of them. Yeah, I think alcohol ink is the way to go on this, honestly. Yeah. Because I feel like you can get it so much more saturated without losing the mirror effect. So I'm down yeah. to just keep going with alcohol ink. All right, go for it, baby. I have like a little bit of a yellowy one. So I'm going to mix some yellow and that orange to get a Ooh, slightly fun. different tint of orange. Yeah, for the top. Yeah. I love that. And the good news is we're thinning out this resin. Oh, thought that was yellow. <laughs> I do have a yellow. Oh, is that more red? No, it was orangey. It just, the top had yellow on the lid and ah. the thing was taped over. Okay. But I'm not going to spill it this time, guys. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way so they can still see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, please don't spill since you're not over the protected foil. Oh, was that skilled or what? Now, did I get to the right height? <laughs> I overshot Whoa. by a significant amount. That's we'll okay. We'll just have extra. That's okay. Okay, I'm going to pour my like lighter orange. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is really fun. Yeah, why does it have like a 90s or 2000s vibe? It's giving inflatable, um, like inflatable love seat from Limited 2. Yeah, just wait until we get the mobile cam. We show you from like a lower angle too. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's so good. Now that we're seeing some mica and some alcohol ink intermixing, do we want to try doing I think a batch? a little bit. I think a little bit. Yeah, I think it might be kind of fun. Mixing up a big old batch. I'm gonna maybe it's good that we're doing it in two batches. Maybe because then it doesn't kick as much. Yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe it was intentional. Yeah, maybe it was totally on purpose. Okay, I'm gonna do some pink mica to mix in on the pink side. Yep. And I'm just gonna I have a little bit of like red tinted alcohol ink. I'm just mixing everything. A little bit of everything. I love that. If we ever wanted to recreate this and have it look exactly the same, it would be impossible. That's the same for like every single resin craft ever though. That's true. It's like impossible to get the same thing. It's giving neon Jupiter. I totally see that. Looks it's like cool a delicious how you can candy. see it like yes. obscuring the reflection of the camera, but you can still see the camera like right here. But you can tell on the orange where there's more mica, it does obscure it more. I have more resin Perfect. for you. I will, um, I do want to just try real quick. The heat gun. Yeah, and I'm adding a little bit of mica powder pink in here. Whee! All right, this might be a little bit noisy. I'm not sure, guys. Turn down your headphones. There's a hair. Mine? Jubes? Okay. That's mixing, blowing. That's fun. And I'm mixing together a pink and orange alcohol ink. All right, just for fun, guys. This this is even louder, but I just want to try it just for fun. Okay, I haven't got a new air gun. It's really loud. Just be careful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's blowing it so much. I was like standing out of the way. I didn't know if it would go flying. Well, this is on low. Should I turn it to high? I mean, carefully. Oh, oh my, my gosh! God. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to blow a cup, like an empty <laughs> cup. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll leave it on low mode. Ooh, this is pretty. Look, I did like a reddish. I mixed oh, the yeah. magenta. But the blend is the orange. so much better now. Yes. I'm going to do more of that. This sounds like being at the dentist. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry, everyone. I'll do it on low. I'll do it on low. We'll do it. We'll use it sparingly.
The beautiful stuff is happening. I know. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> Everyone's leaving chaos emotes in chat. <laughs> What's this? Orange mica? Oh yeah, I guess it's some orange mica left over. I'm just doing a smorgasbord. I got, in this one I have a little bit of pink mica, some magenta alcohol ink, and some orange alcohol ink. Wee. Well, I love this, like, crater-looking thing. Yeah. Okay, what can I just start pouring? I think they're uh, all can empty. We, can we do any more purple? Yeah. Let's do purple. Is there a purple? There's a there? purple right here. Oh, okay, yeah. Wee! This is fun! Um, is there a... I'm going to grab some mica, too. Yeah. Some purple mica? Yeah, yeah. Heck yes. Just a little, just a little, just a little, just a little oomph. Mm -hmm. We also have some black mica if you want to darken it. No, I think it's dark enough. Now there's two purples. One is indigo. That's the blue violet. That's the indigo. If you want the non-blue, we can do either, but just so you know. We'll they're... do both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're doing both. And it'll turn out how it'll turn out. Yeah. Do you want to mix up something? Yeah, I was just, you know, there's only so much room. I'm going to do a little bit more of the light yellowy orange. Yeah, 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 I like that. I'm also just going to pour this. Okay, now it's, it's spread out now. I'm going to pour it into a few different cups Ooh, so it doesn't I like get overheated. That. I like that. I need to blast it. I'll blast it later. Yeah, do all the blasting at once. I'm just looking over our selection of things. Mm -hmm. I think the yellow is going to be really good. Maybe use a paintbrush to spread it? We could, but like I kind of want it to be a certain level of thickness. So if it hasn't flowed there yet, we just need to pour more resin. This ended up being more orange than yellow, so I'm going here. But I'll do a yellow next. Yeah. Now that I know how strong the orange is in comparison. Is there a yellow mica? For the yellow alcohol? Yep, right here. Is there a pink mica? Pink mica? Yeah. Right there, the open one on the edge. Oh, See okay. It? I might mix up a pink mica. Uh, yeah, I have some pink mica in there. That's what this is. All right, I'm going to do more. But more. I would do, I would mix it with um, alcohol as well, because I feel like it's hard to get the saturation. Yeah, I'll do a little bit of each. Without the alcohol ink added. <laughs> I'm just off screen. Yeah, don't mind, Evan. Me. Okay. You guys will finally get a tour of what our chaos looks like after we're done mixing. Yeah. And doing a resin pour. Because, like, Ooh, we just have to I go. I have some yellow drops go here, and I kind of like it. Ooh, yeah. They were just, like, dribbling from my stick. Yeah, oh, I love that. Isn't that I nice? That. Like, the light in there. And we should do yeah. a few pinks up there. Just, like, a few little drops? Yeah, a couple little drops. Oh, that's so, it's so fun now that it's filling in. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have a tiny smidge oh, more I resin. I really like the pink up here, baby. Yeah. Should I mix up a little bit more pink? Should I mix up some more orange? We got a smidge left. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. I'm just like dribbling. Whatever's in the cup, it's going out. Yeah, just kind of spreading it around a little bit. Ooh, you know what we should do? <gasps> What's that? After you blur it and blend it, I really like how some of the circles look, but they're going to get blurred out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a shape that looks a bit precarious. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna bl to blend it and blur? I think we should leave some driblets and droplets yes. after we blow it. Should we, should we squeeze them out of a... Uh, a, a... No, I think, oh. I think it's been working how we're even doing All right. it. All right, guys, here comes the blend. Here comes the blend, doo 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 doo. I'm gonna do a level two power. Okay. I'm gonna set this off to the side so it doesn't get blown over. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Woo! 
Did it spray you? Something sprayed me. It could have been myself. That looks amazing, Caitlin. That looks so cool. That looks amazing. It totally looks like a planet. Do you want to get some from the other angle? Not that type of channel, guys. Looks it's like gone a now, bullet. okay? It's gone. Oh, yeah. Fun. Fun. Okay. And it I'm just, still has that like mirror reflective quality, you know? The only place that I feel like it needs a little extra blending is like right here. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. And then I'll do some driblets and droplets. So right here? Yeah, kind of like this. Man, the texture it gets when you blow it is so cool. I wish it would like keep that. Yeah, okay, should I just do right some then. droplets? Uh, should I get this right here a little more? I think that I think it's just, I think it's too clear. Yeah, yeah. I think it needs a little bit. Can you pour some of this on right there? <clears throat> yeah, and anything else you have, just add it. Maybe add some of this. Yeah. There. Any of the micas? Just any of anything. It just needs a little more. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to fix it. <laughs> just what's in the cup? Who knows? What's ah, going ah. on? <laughs> This is so fun. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just going to blow that. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think that's pretty good. It's interesting that this and the heat gun have slightly different effects. Yeah. Should I start doing some Try droplets? the heat gun again? Oh my gosh, this is doing like so little but if you hold it really low is it still reflective -y? yeah it totally is because you can see the camera look at the camera reflection this like that dark spot in the middle is yeah. the camera yeah so you normally you wouldn't be able to see that it's good it's still really fun it's and really shiny reflective. should i do some droplets yeah do some droplets We. All right. Love that. Love that. Love that. I think I like the purple drops the most. I don't think that there's any spare resin. We use it perfectly. Mm hmm. Add a little bit right there. Let's a little bit, a little bit of uh, like it's lacking something. Mm -hmm. I love how the drops kind of displace. It makes it very yeah. Jupitery. Yes. And then I have. We have a poll going right now. What's the poll? Um, how bad is Caitlin's cat ear bothering you? Um, 37%, not at all, 10%, sort of, 21%, maybe a little, 5%, yes, 27%, fix it now. Fix it, fix it. There you go, baby, I fixed it for you. Thank you. Ooh, I love a little bit of the orange down in here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Doing a little controlled... Drops. Does everyone like how I fixed it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll actually fix it now. Ah! You're good. <laughs> sir, sir, sir! Sir! I'm getting reported. I'm getting reported. <laughs> Report this man. Wow. Okay. I, I want to give them a tour with the handheld camera. Let me yeah. take off my resin gloves. Because, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here's the camera. You just wake it up again. Oh, this died again. Yeah, um, I'll get, I'll get a much bigger battery. Just hang out with chat for a bit. I'll hang out with chat for back. a bit. Yeah, I tried getting these, like, these are lighter, but they die so much faster. Yeah. 
Okay, they're right now. <laughs> <laughs> the ears were right, but Caitlin's head was on backwards. Ooh, can you try one where you spin the mirror? That would be cool. I don't know if we have an extra turntable or not. Like, we, to do spin art with resin, you have to have it going really fast. We actually once took an old, cheap, like, box fan and disassembled it and um, made it to where we could attach a like wood circle onto it and we did spin art but we don't, we're not set up for that today <laughs> all right this is the last battery i used this is the new this is the new battery i'm replacing it with <laughs> this should last longer yeah <clears throat> and then we can give you guys the tour And it, it is totally reflecty. I think you'll see it more. I'll have you like put your hands in front of it or I can, are your gloves clean? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then you can, you can do the tour if you want. It, you see it more from an you're, angle. You're a better film person. Okay. Okay, let me, uh, um, you guys are going to see some behind the scenes stuff real quick. Oh no. Um, don't expect. Oh no. Oh, no! oh no! Oh gosh! <laughs> okay. Oh, someone said no audio. We lost audio. Yeah, yeah, that was fine. Okay. It should Are be back, back now. Yeah. All right. Now, right over here, you should see when it's ready okay. before you switch. Perfect. Now to switch back to main, and now you're good to go. Look at this, you guys! Look at it from an angle. Love. Look, you can see Evan. Put your hand down by it. See the reflection? Yeah. Like, you still get the mirror effect. And it's like, part of it is like the glossiness. The glossiness is what's just giving you like a light shine. But you can actually see like the color of Evan's gloves and the reflection of Evan moving. And when I look down into it, I see my face. Yeah, I can see your face. I see your helmet. Right. Yeah, wait, make a silly face. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. it's totally mirrored still. Like it's totally coming through. That's really cool. I love that. That's fun. Wow, guys, it worked. We winged it and it worked. What is Evan doing? I, was, I, was, I, I need I need space. I'm gonna move Coco to the ground. Okay. I don't know if he's happy about that. We don't want him to curse the stream. Coco's fine. Yeah, he's fine, but is the stream fine? <clears throat> I don't know. Ready to transport it? Uh, yeah. Give right. me one second. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll transport. You film. Oh, oh, I thought you wanted my help. Okay. All right. So. I just realized this is gonna. I need. I need a platform underneath it because that table isn't big enough. There we go. Coco will watch over it. We got to make sure that doesn't drip on Coco. I'll figure something out. Something. Something. Will it fit? I think it'll fit there. Actually, I think it will. Okay. Let's transfer this carefully and skillfully. Yeah, I'm going to get in front of you. Without wobbling it too much. Sorry if I'm not aiming, guys. I'm looking backwards as to not step on Coco. Oh, okay. It's really close so, to the edge. But it fits. But it fits. Okay. Now. Is it still level? No. Okay. Wow, that was easy. Yay. Look at that. And it should end up looking somewhat thing like this, but it'll probably also change over time. Probably a little bit. So 
We'll eventually reveal what this looks like. Yeah, so cool. Okay. Watch out for Coco. I know, I'm watching out for Coco. I don't want to step on him. All right. Welcome to the aftermath. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it always looks like at the end of Resin Projects. Spilled cups, tipped cups. Nothing with a cap or a lid on. We'll do a little cleanup and then we'll start the next one. Oh yes. my gosh. Consolidate, consolidate. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, this is the price of art. Especially art where there's um, time pressure. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why the majority of our um, uh, alcohol inks and mica powders and everything have resin somewhere on them. Yes. All right, is this all the cups? Oh, we have one right over here. Wipe the edges, I'll make this. I made that mistake before. I think we're just gonna let it drip. We'll sand the underside. That's how we typically like to do it. Cause we do want it to, oh, sorry, I just heard Coco blinking. We do want it to flow oh. over. <gasps> oh no, there was a breach. There was a breach. There's a breach, there's resin. Oh no. It's so rare that we have a glove breach. Well, the thing is, I didn't have my double glove on. Oh. I took off one pair of gloves. And you never redoubled. And I never redoubled. That's like my, like, I know what to do, guys, but I just never do it. <laughs> you do it some of the time. I do it some of the time. Well, it's partially double gloved. <laughs> D resin time, D resin time. Would acetone used to remove nail polish work too? It's not as concentrated as pure acetone. Um, so pure acetone is better. Triple glove, triple just to glove? be sure. I don't know if you'd be able to move. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to feel anything. Well, baby, I think we learned some really interesting things on this first try. Yeah. I think we learned that if we want the reflection to show through, um, relying on alcohol ink over pigment will let more reflection show through. Um, I think we also learned that because of that, you can get more concentrated colors with the alcohol ink. Yeah. We also learned that your little blower is really good for blending resin. It's really good. <laughs> what it's technique? fun. It's so fun. You should try it next time. Okay, I will. All right, but the next time, we don't, for the next, for the next mirror, we don't need to worry about see-through too much because we are going for an ocean resin. Ooh. And I think we can do a little bit of like what they're doing here. Some opaque, some transparent. I like how he has the opaque towards the outside edge yes. and then it gets more transparent. I think we should try that as well. Hey, I was saying hi to him, to, to Fencraft oh, there oh, in the okay. reflection. Cause he was like, look at my work. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll do the waves. Yeah. And we'll probably use the less intense blower for this. Just have, we'll at least start there. Yeah. I can not guarantee that you won't bust out the more intense blower. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's get the next mirror. Yeah. Bring the next, next contestant in. And it's easy, because I made six of these leveling platforms, so we can just switch them out at will. There we now go. Now let's make sure it's centered. Let's use this uh, split top to center it. Um, nice. Right there. All right. Very nice. And let's sink the levels. Mm -hmm. This is not level at all. This isn't level at all. Oh, no. Catnap, thank you for the sub. Kevin and Caitlin do love them a good crashing wave or two. Ocean resin is fun. I feel like every time we do it, it's a little bit different. Look at us, Kevin's looking oh. good. Yeah, you can see yourselves. Getting pretty close. Why did Coco explode while walking sometimes? Um, 
so he mostly exploded and by explode it, he really like tripped over himself when we had him in running mode and we tried to go backwards um i don't know if maybe it's just the robot's not meant to do that like we put it in like sport mode you know to get him to run and uh yeah doing it backwards is what seemed to really trip him um now he also fell when we took him to the park but i think what happened there is um a little bit of fur got caught in his joint like it, it didn't really make it too much into the video but we did some investigating we actually had to take off a bunch of his fur at the park and put it back on again and in, after doing that um he seemed to be walking fine so i think some amount just got into the fur so i needed to add one one popsicle stick. stick to tilt it but now this is synced to this level so we can transfer it later wow that Perfect. looks so good in the distance i know it looks really good all right let's mix up some resin resin time resin time do 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 resin time okay i'm gonna put the camera i think we should only mix up 150 for this yes because we're not covering the whole mirror correct yeah i think that's a good idea And these are 18 inch mirrors, if anyone's curious about the size of these. 18 inches. Can you hand me a paper towel? Yes. Coco tripped over his own legs, yeah. That's basically what happened. Well, but also the reason why he collapses afterwards is because when there's an error, out of safety, he just deactivates all motors. Yeah, because that's better than like running into a small child or something. <laughs> Can you imagine the trauma? To Coco? To the child. What about to our child? <laughs> to our child, Coco? Yeah. yeah, I mean, imagine being Coco. Slamming into a human child. I'm sure that would be traumatizing for him. For Coco. For Coco. Yeah. Imagine the therapy bills. <laughs> All righty. Do you want to get the colors out and the... Um, yes. The cups? Yes. So should we do one big cup of, like, pigmented blue? One of, like, alcohol blue but light? And then some white, so maybe like three colors? Yeah. Sorry, I'm distracted. Oh, there we go. I was looking for a missing lid. Ah. Uh, do you have a blue alcohol ink? No. Um, I'll grab it. All right, cool. Put all these off to the side. Beep. There we go. Hey, Coco. Every time Coco blinks, he makes a noise that's really creepy. Yeah, the blinking noise kind of sounds like a chirp a little bit. Like yeah. a mechanical chirp. Is that the good blue or the bad blue? I never remember. Is what? The blue you grabbed. I grabbed huh? all the blues. Oh, you grabbed all of the blue. The I grabbed blue three alcohols. Blues. Ah, okay. We'll do a small drop into like a test alcohol to see which blue we like. Yeah. Now, are you going to want the more green blue or the blue blue? I think the more green blue. Ooh, fun. Yeah. All right, it's ready. I'll go ahead and. I think this is the more green blue. Pour some in here. Pour some in here. Now, the bottom of these are going to be resiny by default. Yes. This whole thing is covered in resin. And I'll do just like a smaller amount of white. Yeah. And I think I might get a um, needle doo -doo, syringe. For the white? For the white? Yeah. Okay, so we're doing like a teal mica, a teal alcohol ink. Should I do one that's a little bit of both to help it blend? Yes. And then we'll do the white? Yeah. And then we have a little extra in here. Okay. 
<laughs> right, we have a syringe. Have we ever done an ocean where like the resin doesn't continue? Where like it ends? I don't know. Because I think in all the ones we've done, we've had like clear resin going over the whole thing. Yeah, no, I don't think we have. So this will be interesting. Let's see. Let's see how he does it one more time. There's definitely mica. There's definitely mica in the first one. Yeah, because it's pretty opaque. Yeah, and it looks like the second one is more alcoholic. He also does clear. He does do clear on the edge, oh, and he then does? he adds the white on top of the clear. Oh, okay. Okay. I, do we have any clear left? A little bit. Oh, Not we have a little bit. Enough, probably. We can. I'll mix up a little bit more. Okay. I'm glad you caught that. Yeah. Because he pours the white on the clear and pushes it. And that mm -hmm. leaves a really cool effect. Maybe mm. the bath caddy? The bath caddy, um, the resin went over the whole thing. So this is the first time where we have like, we need to have like a clean edge. Ooh, that's such a pretty color. Okay. I'll maybe mix up another 80 just in case. Maybe 100 just in case. I think 80 is probably fine, but yeah. 80 would be hard to do the math for, so I'll do... I'll just do something. I'll okay. figure it out. Okay. Now these are all relatively dark, but since it's going on thin, I think it'll look lighter um, than it does in the cups. I'm gonna switch to the split top view for you guys. Split top, so I'll show you my colors. They all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the pure alcohol ink. You know, they're all the same color family. Here is alcohol ink plus mica. You kind of see it's a little different on the stick, a little bit more opaque. And then here is full mica, the most opaque. Seeing this, I'm actually going to add a bit more pigment to the alcohol ink, I think. So I like it when it's pretty pigmenty. Holy heck, I'm actually online when you guys are making something. I've watched you both for years. I love chilling to you guys. Thank you so much. Welcome, Mochi Moon. Okay, I have another batch of resin being mixed up right now. Cool. How the keyboard isn't covered in resin, I have no clue. It's okay so far. Yeah, don't, 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 don't jinx us. Don't speak <laughs> too soon. Do you want to do this pour? Yeah. You can be the messy one? I'd love to. I'll be camera boy, doing my best. <laughs> Caitlin usually takes the camera because she's also like the master storyteller. She like makes sure that we get the shot, get the shots that we need in order to tell the story properly. So while I'm over here thinking about the logistics of like what order of operations to do How and much resin we need. all of that stuff, Caitlin's worried about the like edit and the flow and did we get the shots that will be needed in the edit to make sure that everything's clear and everything. Because even though this is a stream, it will also be an edit. Yep. Ginger Coco, thank you so much for the 300 bits. I always love watching your streams. Thanks for doing what you do. You guys bring so much joy to the world. Thank you so much, Ginger Coco. Thank you. Sorry for um, implying that you were part of the Coco cult earlier because of your username. I'm, I'm sure not saying no that connection. you're not, but. Go ahead. Okay, baby. The clear is ready too. Cool. We'll just keep it in reserve over here. I guess I can go ahead and do the white. Yeah, go ahead and do the white. I got slow acrylic white. Yep. To mix in. Um, we've done a lot of different mix-ins for opaque white resin before. And we found that we like this. Ooh. So can I uh, scoot you over so I can film? Oh, yeah. Go for it. Might need to add a little bit more. We'll see. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, see, that's pretty opaque. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, and these all look... The same! Very similar. All right, but you know which is which. Yeah. Which side are you going to do it on? The side that I can reach. All right, go for it. So the most opaque? Yep. I'm going to leave a little bit in each cup. This is the in-between. See, you can see a difference. Yeah, 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 totally. And then here's the most see-through. Yes. Oh, yeah, very cool. I like this one a lot. Oh, that is so nice. Um. Go ahead and do, like, fill in the back so that, uh, uh Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use up what I've got, actually. Yeah. We have fill spare. Fill it in. Yeah. And then I'll fill in the back here. Ooh, this is satisfying, you guys. Oh, I really like the, like, gradient from more pigmented to less pigmented. Mm -hmm. Very There's also cool. a little bit of a, like, more blue to more teal gradient yep. happening. Okay. Now we're going to do the clear. I'm going to do the clear. I'm going to pour from this cup just so I can like empty yep. it out a little yep, yep, yep. bit. Now, did you get a sense for how big of a strip of clear? Is it about this I'll big? Probably double that. Double this? Okay. I'm having such a hard time focusing. Um, especially on the clear. Oh, that looks cool though. Love that. All right. Okay. Go for waves. Okay. This is the nerve wracking part. Should I do like two lines of... Wait, did he, he blends it first, right? Uh... Let me see. Roll the tape. Oh, he did it much more wavy in and out. You kind of did it a looks, curve. It I looks think that's like fine, it's though. been blended a little bit. So blend it a little bit first? I think so. All right. Now, should we do, I think let's, oh, you want to you tickle it? Or we could use the heat gun. Maybe use the heat gun. Okay. Or you can tickle it if you want, you know? It doesn't need a ton of blending. It's already pretty blendy. Yeah. I'm just going to run this back and forth a couple times at the transition points. And I think that's pretty good. All right. Okay. I love that. Okay, I'll, do, I'll try doing two lines of waves, I think. All right. I might, I might film from this side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> you give it one more stir. You ready? Ready. Okay. You got this, baby. I believe in you. Thank you. I'm going to start it off the edge so I don't get a big bloop. Yeah. I'm going to do one inside of that. What? Do one more row inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe wave it up and down some if you want. Fun. Okay. Fun. Let's blow that and see what we get. Yeah, no, I think we should maybe switch sides because he blows from that direction. Yeah, yeah. So let's switch sides. I'm going to pull the heat gun around to the side. Hi, how's it going, everybody? Okay. Right. Um, I'm ready. This looks so cool. I think I might need to add more white. Yeah. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and add more white now. Yeah. Very cool looking though. Very cool. I'll show the top down for just a second. So here's the top down. Oh, that's looking real nice. I might just do that for, for the, the next time. Sure, should I keep going? Yeah, go for it. I'll just film this. Oh, missed a little. We'll fill in. I'm gonna soak up some more. Mm. 
All right, it's looking good though. Yeah. I'm already liking it a lot. All right, one more heat gun. Ooh. Yeah, the additional white really helps. And I think we can clean up our top edge if we want to. I think that's great, just right there. I love that, just like that, honestly. That's pretty dang cool. Oh yeah, I need to like look at it from far away. I'm just gonna, just gonna let it be full screen for a bit. What do you guys think? I feel like... Touch it or not touch it? Touch it or not touch it? Do we touch it or not touch it? Oh, she's going. Here, stop, stop, stop. I think add more white here. I like the thick white right there and there. Mm -hmm. Looks frothy. Yeah, I can add more white. So just add more white from here to like there. There you go. Yeah. All right, a little blow, blow. Don't touch the back, I love the back. What do you mean by the back? This back one. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Whoa, look at that weird Whoa, bubble. What, what is that? Heck? What is that? What is that? What's happening? What is that? It's a rock. What? What is that? What is that? What is that? Should I try to blend it out? I kind of like it here and here, but why is it so big? What happened? What is that? I'm gonna blow it. That's weird. That's so weird. It's a, wait, it's a dip. I need to add more white, oh. honestly. You got too close to the mirror. Um, I could add a little more white right here, right? It, it, I think it, it hit too far, it touched the glass, and weird things happened. Yeah. You can even add like a little additional line through there, like at the top of the hole. What? Add white right there? Like, make it look, like, purposeful. Like, it's a partial wave. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we don't have to. We don't have to. I'll just add a little bit. You know, I'll add a little bit more, like, right there. Yeah. There you go. All right, that's good. I was just blending out the edge. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It I adds like it. natural variation. The yeah. Revenge of the Turtles. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? I think it's pretty cool. Gosh, I just can't get over the like, the transparent combined with the mirror. I know. I know that's like the whole point of all of these resin hacks and like- It looks so cool though. It's so cool. Should we do one more white right here? <laughs> Do it seems to be dispersing too much. It, seems, it does seem like it's dispersing a lot. I think let's just do the white and not blow it. Okay, do we need to make more white or are we good? No, I think we're good. I'm gonna suck up a little bit more. I know this is dangerous, but I just know that this disperses more than you think. It continues. Chat's also saying a lot of the blue got blown off, which I do agree a lot of it got blown off, but I don't know what to do about that. Ah, we will need to blow it again. Should yep. we add more blue? Like above oh. the white? Oh, geez. It's really going to mess with things. Because we, since we keep blowing in this direction, which is the way you have yeah, to blow for the waves. we lost so much blue. Yeah, we lost a lot of if blue. If we were to do this again, I would have less... Oh, I'll just move everything over this way. I don't know. But we're already covering half the mirror. I'm down if you want to. Let's do it. We're going to be blowing it anyways. Might as well blow the whole operation. If we're adding it here, I feel like it needs to be the transparent. Yeah, yeah.
But I mean, I can also add a little bit of mica. We lost pretty much all the mica. Yep. A lot, a lot of touch. Yeah. Just, just a little hint. Hopefully it'll, it'll, you know, just blend with the white. Let's find out. Baby. I'm trying yep. to do it like above where the old white started. Yeah. We also have this if we want to mix up some mica and pour on the bottom to push things forwards again before yeah. it all slides off. Let's do it. Then this one here? Yeah. I think that's... Yep, there you go. <gasps> and I'll switch to the wide for a little bit while we're shenaniganing. Now, anything we add to the bottom... We'll push it forwards. Mmm, okay. That, that's what I'm hoping. It'll get pushed off again in just a little bit, but it keeps on sliding off. So yeah. I want to push everything forwards. Yeah. Wait. What? Is it not level? No. We're going to go like this for a little bit. Oh. That works too. Dangerous game. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, there isn't much wiggle room here. Should I pour some at the base there? Yeah. And we just undid all of our initial That's white. Okay. It'll keep on going. It'll 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 uh it'll come back. Want to do a little something? Oh yeah, some blue. Yes, 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 yes. Darken it a little bit. All right, here I need to show the split top. Sorry, I should have had that. Oh, I didn't realize you didn't. Wee. Okay. Okay, should we should we blow it again? Yeah. Here you can do it since you you, you blew it last time. Blow it? Yeah. Oh, no, okay. I'll, I'll Let's blow. switch sides then, because I need to be blower needs to be on that side. All right, here you, you film then. You want me to film? Yeah. I'll blow. Let me switch back to normal. No, no, this is good. Oh, I can I can push this and it'll Oh, oh, oh yeah. You wanna get the mo you wanna get the mobile. Okay. All right, go for it. Okay. And I tried to do it from an angle, yeah. You got some nice tendrils there. Ooh, nice and lacy. And I don't mind having a little bit of a line too. Huh. Maybe that's good. Okay. Yeah, maybe we call it. <laughs> it's so hard to stop messing with these things, guys. I know. Every artist at some point in their life has asked, am I done yet? Hands up, walk away. <laughs> should, I, should I stop? Should I keep on going? Should I stop? Should I keep on going? <laughs> All right, one last look, guys. What do you think? It bothers me that this isn't blended. Does that bother you too? Yes. But it's like, how do we, how do we blend it without messing up the white? Oh, maybe more of a straight down so it doesn't go into the white too much. Okay, I think you got it pretty good. I think that helps. <laughs> Yeah, you fix the gap. Stop, it's good. Stop. We're stopping now. We're stopping now. Oh, it's leaking off. No, our second wave. 
So we had another wave. A third wave. Put out a third wave. Put out another wave. One more wave. Ah. Just one more. You want to do it? Um. Well, you have gloves on, so. It's starting to thicken. It's. No, no, look at this. Too thick? Oh, too thick. Okay, we're done. Well, if that, well, unless that one is good. You don't need this to pour good. it. Just use that cup. Why are you pouring it? I don't know. I've already started. <laughs> Can you give me another syringe? Um, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like dying gas. Go, baby. Okay. Do you want to do it? I'm nervous. Yeah, I can do it. Um, just give me a second. I gotta put on gloves. Okay, so, so then should I do it? No, you can do it. What was that? <laughs> no, everyone's like, no, stop touching it. But guys, it's, it's gonna it's gonna fall off totally. We have to. Okay, baby, you wanna get ready to film? Clean hands. I don't see chat like it's like watching The Sims when you leave them on full autonomy. No, 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 we're good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start. You can just start filming whenever you're ready. Okay. Right. Should I do it like here? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think that's good. Go ahead and blend. Okay, want to switch sides? Yep. And I'll blow it. Okay. We're good, guys. We're totally good. We meant to have three waves. Why is it chunky? I don't know. Was it... Was it not stirred long enough? I don't know, man. It's got chunks. That's nice. The chunks are nice? I, I don't know if it was mixed long enough. Oh, well, we can't get it out. It is what it is. It's foam. It's foam. It's frothy foam. It's frothy foam. Yeah, it's sea foam. Chat says it looks more like waves. No. I do like it, actually. Let's leave it. Let's leave okay. it. Okay. Th that was on purpose. Let's leave it. <laughs> okay. It's done. It's, it's done. done. It's done. <laughs> I got hot. <laughs> Woo. My resin email. I'm good. Okay, right. time to transfer it. Let's move it off to the side. Should we do one final tour with a handheld camera yeah, like we did for, for the last one? Go for it. Okay, final tour. Uh, yeah, from three waves to two waves back to two waves. Yep. Because that last wave did fall off totally. It totally fell off. You need two waves. Yeah, you gotta have two waves. But look, you can still see the reflections. I think that's really cool. It's a little bit too bright, I think. Maybe. Hee <laughs> hee. I made it darker. Very cool. I think it's fun. Like, I think this hanging in your house yeah. would be really cool. Now, what side is up? I'm not sure. I think the water's at the bottom. That's what I picture. I realize we should have taken that into account because there's a metal hanger across the top. Somewhere. We'll move it. <laughs> We'll add our own. Or um, the hanger will just determine what side is the top. Yeah. We'll find out soon. Okay. Careful. Okay, then come over here. What did you set say? This down right here. Need a level. Oh, look at those. Oh, wow. Kaylin, look at why don't you tell them about those? Look at that new sticker pack. You can get this at shopevanandkaitlin.com. 
Designs wow. are by Nice Time Creative on Instagram. What convenient product placement. Wow, shop evanandkaylin.com. Look at this. Look. Juby in her car. Chaos Juby. Juby with ham. Juby in space. Gamer Jube. And Juby with all four resin pumpkins. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and also it's level. Yay, it's level. Ooh. Cool. We have a very special mirror for this next one. Yes. You'll notice it is iridescent. Give it some more tilty tilts. Do side to side tilties. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. And we'll tell you more about it in just a little bit. Also, before we start that one, we need to swap the battery on this camera. Yes. It's about to die. <laughs> yeah. It's like flashing red yeah. urgently. I'll go. I'll go get it. I'm just going to leave my mic on, so I'll be quiet. All right. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And I'm just going to get the centered. The thing is, guys, like the beauty of this is so hard to like capture. Because from the top, it looks like one thing. But when you switch it, when you switch it, when you switch it to here, look at that. Wow. Wow. The colors. So good. I'll just show them it off even more. No battery. Chat, were you encouraging him to prank me? She was going to be so quick. No way I could prank him that time. Rude. All of you, rude. All right, I'm going to go inside to have a sip of water real quick. Yeah. Yeah, can't drink through the masks. Should I prank him? <laughs> what are you looking for? What? What are you looking for? Your water? Oh, I got it. Oh, that was fast. I just drank it inside. Oh, it was like right by the door? It was door. right there, yeah. Oh. All right, let's get this back on, get this ready, get this set up. Yeah. And do you see the preview right there? Yeah, 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 I see the preview. All right, guys. So let's show you the inspiration for this next piece. It goes by really quick. It happens really fast. It goes by really quick. It's hard to understand. I don't know what's going on. This is from Courtney Kinnear Art. Very cool. And it took me a long time to figure out what's going on. Yeah. I knew that it had something to do with this material right here. This material goes by a lot of names. It'll be linked in the description of our YouTube video. But it's kind of like iridescent window film. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. I love it. But we tried applying it to a mirror. Let me show you what that looks like. It looks like this. It's nothing. It just at, looks like a mirror. At the edges, you can see a little bit of like weird shine, but it just looks like a mirror. Here, it's, uh, it's focusing on me. Let me get out of the way. It just looks right? like a mirror. It's right? just a normal mirror. Like the, fi the, the iridescent film did nothing to it. So we did a little test and um, found that if we put the iridescent film on an aluminum sheet, yeah. Then it has the effect. I don't fully understand the logic of it. And of course, this isn't the best mirror. You know what I mean? It's not super reflective, but it has the properties that we're looking for that are really fun. And it is still reflective. Mm. Like yeah. you can see the reflection. Yeah, yeah, you can see yourself. Look. Yeah. So this mirror that I have in front of me <clears throat> is not actually a mirror. It's an aluminum circle with iridescent film on it. But it has the effect. Yeah. We, because I wanted them all to match, I went a little bit extra and I ordered this custom laser cut aluminum circle that's the same diameter as the other ones. Yeah, I guess we could have just done it on the square aluminum piece, but then it would look different. Okay. And we want all of our circles to be the same. For, it's necessary. For what reason? I don't know. But anyways, you were able to, to guess that it looked like she was using you know, 
something with iridescent film on it because of how it hits the light. Um, based on the experience we've had so far today, I feel like it's pretty alcohol ink heavy. Yeah. I don't know if there's any mica in that. Because any no. mica, I think, will cover up the iridescent sheen. So I'd be down to go full alcohol ink on this one. What do let's you think? Let's do that. Now, let's, we have the idea to kind of match the colors that are in here that show up. So it's kind of like yellow, green, blue, magenta. And like Purple. a like a pinky. Oh, I guess, Pink. yeah, that's magenta-ish. All right, I'm just going yeah, to so sink we thought the it, level. We thought it would look nice to try to match the colors of the iridescent film. Oh, my gosh. Caitlin, look at how, look at how satisfying this is. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in. It was way off initially. It was like this. Uh-huh. But watch this as I spun it. Through the magic of three feet being on here. Look at that. Wow. Perfectly level. Perfectly level. Perfectly level. Oh, guys. Come on. You have to admit, that's satisfying. How many imaginary internet points do I get for that? Oh, like 20 at least. 20 at least? Okay, yeah. good. I've been saving them up. I'm going to redeem them at the internet store later. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm cleaning up a little bit of stuff from our Whoa. ocean for. What? Some people in chat are saying I got 2,000. 20,000. Oh, that's what I meant. Uh, 20, 20, 20 K. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, whatever chat says. Let's prep the colors. Yeah. And I think that we should mix the full um, 300 milliliters for this. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be another full one like the first mm. one. How many different cups? I think we should do a whole bunch of different cups. That way there's different levels of alcohol ink and everything. Yeah. So I, again, based on what we've done so far today, I think the pink for sure. I think a teal for sure. I think a yellow would be kind of fun. Yep. Purple is the one that I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about, sure about just because it's so much darker. Yeah. And we don't really have like a light purple, and I feel like this is a lighter purple in the sheen. Should I start mixing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so many cups. We, I, it might just be three colors, but I, we could also do a little bit of green. We're just gonna have to be careful about like what's next to what. Yeah, I don't know about and, the green. And are we gonna do like rage, like a radial gradient? I think I think we should have clear in the center. Okay, clear in the center. Clear in the center. And then different colors around the edges. Okay. <clears throat> so, pink. Because this, this is already... It already has a lot going on. Uh, the, the, the colors are already so cool. So, pink, teal, yellow? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Love it. CMYK. Without the K. What is K? Black. Huh. Why is K black? What does it stand for? It's the last letter in black. C, cyan, M, magenta, Y, yellow. They couldn't do B because B is already blue. Oh, so it's just K. Like the, the K from black. Yeah. I kind of see it. You know. Oh, K is for key. What is... Does it? Does it? Oh, is it? Co? Oh, how'd I get logged out? What? I got logged out. Oh no. How resiny are your fingers? They're clean. Enough. <laughs> K is for key, which is typically the color of the key plate. How come my entire life I've thought it was for the it was for black? K is for key. K is, is for Caitlin. Is the key Caitlin. plate black? Today is, today is brought to you by the letter K as in Caitlin. What are you what are you K logging into? Um, I'm getting my um, authenticator app code. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! 
Yeah, I got like fully logged out. Everything is out. Don't oh worry about it. I'm good. I'm good. Do you want me to do it or do you want? I got it. Yeah. Don't uh. worry, guys. This is really exciting content. Guys, this is your reminder to do double factor authentication for everything. Yep. No, here you need to, you need to do this. Log in. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Oh, I could have yeah, done that. Just that. Yeah. Oops. All right. You're good. K is for key. Key is black. Oh. You know I'm learning stuff. Cool. Okay. Look, we have 20 cups, all now resiny, and we need three. Well, we're going to do two more after this. Two yeah, more yeah, projects. yeah, 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 we'll use them in the others. Did this, you used to be able to see both sides of this. How did this happen? That's fine. Right? That's fine. Oh, wait. Ha-ha! <laughs> the I power zoomed in. Zoom. That, that's what happened. It was me. <laughs> it's me. Hi. I zoomed in too much. It's me. <laughs> Learning so much about printing in chat. Captain Morgan, thank you so much for the 29 months. And Space Sammy, thank you for the 16 months. We appreciate it. I also want to divide this up into a lot of cups because, like, large amount. Large amount. Yeah. Divide and up I kind of wanted want, like maybe. two yellows, two greens, two Let's magentas. Let's do it. Go crazy. Because um, just to have some more variation. I did variation. like that in the first one. Yeah. Oh, they're all a bit different. Plus, we want to do some blending in between, like a little pink and a little yellow. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be just like an iridescent rainbow. That'd be mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. Iridescent rainbow. That's kind of what it's gonna be. What happens when you mix magenta and green? We're not mixing magenta and green. That will be brown. We're going to mix with, but green isn't in here. What's this? That's teal. Oh, all right. Cyan. All right, well, I trust oh. you. OK, we have some information. Um, the M750 says, Caitlin, tell Evan the reason the film didn't work on the mirror, that the mirror isn't a first surface reflector, but the metal panel is. Oh, I see that. I see that. No, that makes sense. I understand. Because the mirror has like two surfaces that you're looking, like well, one that the you're mirror, looking. The, the, well, the, the outer surface of the mirror that you're looking at is just glass. Yeah. But on the back of glass is the, um, the reflector. Reflector. So because the film wasn't applied directly to the reflector. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll pour resin into six cups. Yeah. And I'll pour the rest of the white clear into the center. Yeah. Oh Whoa! my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, oh split top. Guys. Here, I, I, I gotta it, do it from the angle. When I poured it in, crazy things happen. It just looks cool. I, it's way cooler in person, if I'm being honest. Can you- Whoa, can, look at the dent, look at the dent. Can you okay. switch to mobile, mobile or to main and then I'll go to mobile? All right, okay. it's in mobile now. Oh, how do you even describe? It looks it's so much cooler in it's person. It's so cool in person. Here, let me, let me rotate. Maybe that'll get it a little bit. You know, maybe it was just when we first poured it on. It looks really cool. It looks so cool. <laughs> Okay, baby, do you want to do um, some colors? Or you do, do, you wanna... you do colors. Okay, then do you want to hold the camera? Yeah. Are you not resonating? No. Okay, cool. I'm going to do a little something here. You're going to do a little something? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a little something for myself. Oh, you're going to do it in the circle? Yeah. I'll start here. The one with cat hair in it. It's just oh. a normal amount of cat hair. It's fine. It's within um, acceptable tolerances. All right, that's interesting. Cyan, magenta, and yellow are 
subtractive primary colors. Red, green, and blue are additive primary colors. Yeah. Red, yellow, and blue aren't primary colors at all, but they do the job for simple things. I'll just trust that Caitlin knows what she's doing. <laughs> that makes sense. It was the pure and then a mix of each. All right. Fun. You always have to go a bit dark because it's going to be put on so thin, but you get an idea once you see it on the stick. Yeah. All right, now that... You got that, and you're doing that. I might make something more clear. Sure. Because like that's not enough clear for me. I want them to go in and out both, but I want a little bit more. Okay. I'll just mix up a smaller amount. Let's do it. Every time I've mixed up more, it's been good. Or at least I've been glad I did so. Yeah. Can you uh, ask me a towel? Oh, here's one. Oh yeah, I have some tucked under there. Also, shout out to Total Boat for being, uh, sponsoring us and providing us with this resin. Blessed be. Blessed be Total Boat. We go through a lot of resin. We're learning a lot. We're experimenting constantly. We go through the experiment so you guys can just get straight to the good stuff and yeah. not have to use up additional resin experimenting. Thank you, Total Boat, for resin time. <laughs> <laughs> Total Boat the goat. Okay. I should probably torch this one too, because the center is going to be just fully clear. Torch it, like with bubbles? Yeah, I should probably torch it. We haven't done a torch any for bubbles. It's so thin, though. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, but we can. It's going to be so fun going around and touring these afterwards. Oh, yeah. I feel like you can you can see my transitions. Oh, yeah, better. yeah. I can totally see. That's epic. I almost need, like, one in between these two. Okay, I'll be able for to For just, like, a little in. bit. And maybe like a little tiny one here. Not a lot, but. Yeah, I can do that. Or you know what I can do? I can just do a little from this and this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys don't know what's going on, but you'll know soon. Yeah. More sticks. I'll give you a little tour of my rainbow soon. I'll take a break from mixing. I was able to stay resin free. I'm going to take you over to Caitlin's mixing station over here. Isn't that beautiful? You see my transition? That's beautiful. We How love need it. To make... Oh, yeah, I might need a little bit more. Yeah, all right. I'll, uh, but I I'll think you can spare a little bit. I can you can spare a pour bit. what you need, and then, you yeah. know, I'll take whatever I can get. Oh, don't melt the film with the torch. Yeah, I don't think we should torch it. I don't okay, know. Okay, yeah, you're right. All right, I'll pour a little bit in here. That's plenty, yeah. A little bit in there. All right. Thank you, baby. Are your hands resiny? Um, slightly. Yes, okay. But I'm not done mixing it, so. Yeah. But if I want to get a, I want to show me pouring the clear in the center again. Okay. I'll be done in a second. Because that was really cool. And I think I'd be able to blow those colors into the center. Yeah. Kind of like waves. Yeah. You know, that way the center is, has some interesting things going on too. Let's do it. Okay, do you want me to film, film you pouring more in the center? Yeah. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It's doing look at it's doing that. It. Wait, did it do it for you? It did. I think it's just like, it's cool and it's like a 3D blob of resin yeah. and then it flattens out. All right, should I start 
pulling these on, or do you want to? Either way. All right. Since I'm currently double gloved and you are bare, I'll go ahead and start. Start here. And I wouldn't pour everything from each. I'd like leave some extra in case we want to do a little like intermixing or something. All right. <laughs> How's the saturation of things looking? Do they need good? to be more no, saturated? I actually count how many there are now, because you added some. One, uh, let me see what the circle looks like. Is it, um, there's kind of like two, 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 two. Okay. You can kind of divide into quadrants. Yeah. I think your spacing so far makes sense. Right. That's a fun one. Yeah. It's also nice, like, all of them are going to have a little bit of, like, whatever sheen the iridescent is re currently reflecting. Oh, that wasn't enough of that one. We can mix more of anything. Some of them are dirtier than others. Like, not mixed enough? Like, um, I think it's just the pigment sometimes gets a little, um, cakey. Yeah. Do we have enough? You have some more clear over there, so we can mix more of any color. Yeah. We can always start blending them and then see what we want to mix more of. But yeah, I think might as well pour everything out. Yeah, we need more. We need more greens and. Uh... Oh, <laughs> I think you poured that the wrong spot. Yep. That's okay. It's all gonna get blendy. I don't. I don't mind it. Kind of intermixing, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 get crazy. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, we've used up almost everything. Yeah, do you want to try blowing it around? And then if we need more, we'll... I think we'll need more. We'll use that last little bit of clear. Mm. But I think, like, maybe blow it around first. Unless you can tell right now what, what you want to do more of, but... Hmm. Okay, I'll blow it around just for fun. Yeah. And even though the activity that I'm doing right now isn't dirty, I'm going to re-glove because I'm eventually going to go to something dirty. <laughs> and I'll forget to double glove at that moment. I'm learning, guys. All right, I'm going to do a split top. Okay. It's almost easier to see the colors in the handheld. Woo! Jeez! The little guy is so powerful! Ooh, fine. That's cool. It's, so, it's almost like disorienting to see it on the top down. It's like hard to tell what's happening, right? Yeah, it is. Getting heavily blur like blurring where the color and clear meet and then like between the layers or not layers, the um color blob. They kind of blow back and forth. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try switching to this one. I feel like it's not coming across from the top down. Yeah. Would you mind pushing the main and then I'll switch? Oh, yeah, go. that's way better. Yeah, I feel like you can see what it looks like much better here. That's satisfying. I think we need more yellow. Yeah. And I think we should saturate the yellow a bit more. Yeah. Like it needs a bit more pigment. We could do a bit more like yellow green right here. Yeah. To help blend it. Yeah. 
I like it. All right, I'll mix more yellow, and we honestly need a little bit more of everything in some way. I don't think we need any more clear. No. I think a little yellow, a little yellow orange, and a little yellow green, just because those... Yellow? It's so hard to do... Um... Yellow orange? I think I need, we need some more purple, too, just to bring it to the edge. Okay, yeah. I like that. All right. And what was the green? A little yellow green. Yellow green. And I think um, one thing I learned is yellow is easily overpowered by the other colors. <clears throat> so when we add the other drops, it's got to be like mostly yellow and just like one drop of the other color. All right, let's see if this amount of yellow is enough yellow for the yellow, the yellow. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit down. Oh, is that good? More? More. More. I think the yellow pigment is just really weak. 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 Okay. Let's look at it now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay, so this is the yellowy green. Yeah, more yellow. Now, I'm not sure if we have enough, still, I'm still not sure if we have enough resin to finish this. I think we will, but like barely. Oh yeah. Nice. Come on. I like scrape these cups. Oh boy, it's getting to the scraping cup phase. Gotta get all we can. Again, though, I don't mind like a little bit of intermixing. I think it's kind of interesting. Yeah, now we have some orange. There's a, you can do that right here. Where's the orange squeeze? What? Is, is orange a mix of what colors? Pink and yellow. Okay. Ooh, yeah, fun. That's nice. Yeah, so that one kind of goes like here. Might even need to kind of... Yeah, that's fine. Just be careful having it next to green because that's going to turn brown. Oh. If there's any yellow left in the yellow cup to put in the transition there. Fill the gap. <laughs> Squeeze the last drop. Now there's a smidge of clear left, right? Like the tiniest little amount. If you just need to fill some volume, you can pour that in the middle. Okay. I have a little bit of purple. But we have some purple left. Yeah, so a little bit of um, purple and magenta, or sorry, magenta and blue. Okay. Maybe made this too strong. That's, that's okay. I don't mind it being strong. Whoa, this is already cured. Uh -oh. The white from the. Uh... Oh yeah, the white from last time. I feel like the um, white always cures faster with the flow acrylic mixed in. Ooh, did we just barely have enough? I think we just barely had enough. We're gonna have to be really careful blowing it if we blow it all anymore. Yeah, we don't want to blow this. There is there a smidge of clear left in that? I can't tell. Like to just pour in the center. Just to like add whatever we got, you know? Show me what you got. All right. You can't believe we use up every single little drop. I know. It looks really cool, though. Like, it's hard for me to see if the iridescent is shining through because there's so much going on. I think it'll be easier to see once it's fully cured and we can, like, hold it up and tilt it. I think I just need to blend it just a little bit, guys. Yeah, let's blend it a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I'll put it on the lowest setting. You know, I'll use the heat Use gun. the old one, yeah. Ye old faithful. Ah. Oh. I grabbed it by the hot end. <laughs> Oh, 
And I'll always blow in. Yeah. Not out. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is great. Love it. And we can switch sides once you are done on that oh side. Oh my god, yes. It looks like cool and like molten and like duochrome on camera. It looks really cool. Like I do feel like I see the iridescent colors coming through. Oh my God. Oh, the teal section is so cool. It totally looks like duochrome. Do you want to switch Whoa. sides? What? This is so cool. Oh God, I, you said no. Did you say, oh, I said, why I did said, you say no? Whoa, I said, whoa. Oh. Oh my gosh. Do you want to switch sides so you can hit it from a different angle? Or do you feel like you're able to get it pretty good? I think I'm done. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. That's so cool. It's Look like, at that. It's like beautiful watercolor. Iridescent watercolor. All of shots saying, stop, stop, stop. It's good, stop. <laughs> we stopped, we stopped. Stop, stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, from, you can't even really understand it from the top down. Look at that. Like, Cause like the reflection of the camera in the center is throwing it off. Like, yeah. I feel like the handheld shows off what it actually looks like in real life way better. And once we're able to rotate it, once it's dried. Yeah. Stunning. Get, also, it, get it from this angle too, some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the metallic is really coming through on this one. Oh, yeah. it's so hard to like... I don't I, I think this angle is actually best. From so, where you're at? Yeah, so you can get the reflection of the light behind it. Yeah, that's where I was filming it. Yeah. This is really dynamic. It's really hard to understand what is going on on camera, but like in person? Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. That's so yes. cool. Success. Oh, fun. Ah! <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good. I checked, I checked. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was stressful yet so fun. I know. I can't believe we we're so down to the wire on the amounts. I really thought after the first one we had it like dialed in. Hmm. This that one's my out, favorite not so far. Resin on the purple edge, you're right. Oh, you're right. I'll, uh, I'll scoop some of this. Good catch. I'll scoop. Scoop. This is when you know you're desperate for resin when you're scooping what flowed off. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a big flex. Big flex from Gonda. You're both amazing. Love watching this and all the YouTube videos. Thank you so much. Big flex. I'll flex on Evan's behalf. Here, since he's he's working. Oh no, he did it. Okay. Never mind. Hey, <laughs> big flex. Okay, I think that's good now. Yeah. Oh, I used up my my non-double glovedness. That's okay. It was for a worthy cause. Oh, that's so cool. That's beautiful. It's, it's so like it's Lisa beautiful. Frank. I love it. It's 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 a. Uh, it's like Lisa Frank tie dye. But shiny. like with magic powers. Yeah, yeah, like unicorn. It's a Lisa yeah. Frank unicorn. Yes. Woo! Fun. Okay. Um. We need to carefully set this aside. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and glove. We're out of baby powder, baby. What? I know. No, there's another. Oh, there's another? Okay, awesome. Always. Metallic watercolor, yeah. <laughs> don't forget to save. Save. I don't know what I was doing there. WASD and mouse, I guess. Oh, yeah. Proper amount of baby powdering. <laughs> that was it. A great space jew background. Just make sure you don't drop any baby powder on here. Yeah. How many mirrors we're doing? 
Um, Two more. Yeah, five. Sorry, I shouted. Didn't mean to shout at you guys. I just got excited. You cannot save in this location. Oh no, we'll bring it to a saveable location soon. Oh yeah, you cannot save in this location? That's so true. <laughs> yeah, it's true, we can't save it here. Go ahead and glove up too for the next one. There are mm -hmm. enemies nearby. It's Coco. <laughs> Coco's over there blinking at us. All right, ready? Ready. They're behind you. Oh, it's cool. honestly, it's cool to see it in like a less lit area of the garage. Yeah, more shadows. Yeah, well, it's just like um, the colors almost look more saturated in a way because it's darker. It really is a dynamic piece. That's cool. Let's see what Coco thinks about it. Coco, blink once if you like it. I'll count that. Yeah, yeah. That was just like a two-stage blank. Okie dokie. Hi guys, how's wow. it going? <laughs> I can't wait until it's like fully cured and I can like pick it up and like wiggle it and stuff. I know, me too. Oh, I can't wait. I need a hug break. Oh. I love you. Love you. How's your back? It's doing okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm gonna need a break after this. I know, same. <laughs> Massages? <laughs> let's go get a massage. Yeah, let's go get a massage. <laughs> then what? What's on your hands? Why are they sticky? Don't worry about it. <sighs> oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna clean up this. You rest. All I'll right. clean up. In between. I've been really enjoying myself, though. Oh, yeah. This is so fun. You guys, we lost Evan. <clears throat> How are you doing down there with the, uh, the dust? And the bugs. And the bugs. Great. Yeah, it's comfy? Yeah. Cool. Thanks for cleaning up, baby. Of course. Oh. He's just resin in Caitlin now. <laughs> yeah, literally. Let's see. I wonder what I can put up now. I can put away the white. When I put away, I mean, not put away because there's resin on the bottom. I'll just move it off to the side. What's next? Flowers? Uh, yes. Woo. Or or geode. Oh. Should we have a chat vote on what's next? Um, flowers or geode? Yeah, I mean, they're gonna see both. What do you guys wanna see next? Flowers or geode? Moms, can you put a bowl on? <laughs> Sorry, I'm too I'm sticky to do a bowl. I'm working remote right now. Yeah, Evan's working remote. Now we're gonna do both, the flowers and the geode. Oh, we have a hype chain. Thank you guys for the hype train. Ugh. Just based on what I'm seeing in chat, it's it's definitely going back and forth. At first, it looked like Geode was winning in, in chat, and then it looked like Flowers were winning. We're going to do both, so, you know. Don't worry too much about who wins and who loses. Can I overlay a pole here? I don't think so. Ooh, okay, yeah. The pole's going. Cool, Paul is going. It's a good thing to do while we clean up. It's pretty even, honestly. Yeah? Well, it's good. That means, like, if, if one was really losing, it'd be like, well, we just skip it. <laughs> so I'm glad it's even. Wow. Geode is 55%. Wow, very close. 
That's okay, Maglian. Thank you for the 200 bits. Ellie, thanks for the 32 month sub. Sweet Ellie, thank you for the 24 month sub. We appreciate it, you guys. Vincent, thanks for 29 months. Maybe the Patrick, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, everybody. Whew. I have to like lift up the weight of my battery pack. <laughs> wow, it's close. 47 to 53. Pretty close. Half of chat said they don't see the poll because Twitch was glitching earlier. Oh, no. It could be under the hype train. Yeah, it might be under the hype train. It might also depend on if you're um, mobile or not. Shall 46. I bring over the next mirror? What's so that? Can, shall I bring over the next mirror? We yeah, can start yeah, leveling yeah. Let's bring it? over the next mirror. Sorry, that's probably really loud. Yeah, let's well, maybe I was, not. I was, I was cooling myself off. Oh gosh, you're blowing it right into the mic. <laughs> Alright, Geode I think is gonna win. Geode's been growing. Mm. 57. <clears throat> Goodness. How are the batteries on the ventilators doing? Oh, they're they're definitely good. We charge them right before I'm this. Four out of five. I'm probably the same. We charge at the same time. Yeah, yeah. They can last a pretty long time, which is good. All right, I'm going to center real quick. All right, this is perfectly level. That a big flat from Lady Gucci. Lady Gucci says, loving this craft. Thank you, Lady Gucci. Thank you. Thank you for the big flex. It's actually not that loud. That's good. I love how Evan had the chaos face even when it wasn't turned on. Oh, when the blower wasn't turned on. Kratos, thank you for the 25 mm. months. Wow. Look at that. Perfectly level. Nice. Good job, baby. All right, Geode is still winning with 50... Six percent. Mm -hmm. Let's do Geode. I'm gonna call it. Yeah, Geode's yeah. been ahead the whole time. Yeah, we'll and call just it. keeps on pulling ahead. Let's okay, call it. Okay, guys, Geode next. So I'll start getting out Geode colors. Now we've done resin Geodes before. Um, none of which I have with me, but I could go get them. But um, it's been a really long time. It's been a long time, like so, four years. Yeah. So let's look at this um, resin geode on mirror example that we found by Tess Lark. So interestingly, she does something we didn't do in the past with our geodes. She kind of like glues crystals before she pours the rest of the resin on. She also has um, diamond dust, which is like glass dust essentially. That's what she's kind of putting on the edge now. So we got some of that too. Now I think this technique is more about the geode, if I'm being honest. It just looks cool seeing it on a mirror. Yeah. But it looks like it's mostly opaque. I still think it might be okay if we mix in a little bit of clear, because sometimes in geodes, there's like more opaque parts of the stone yeah. and more translucent. But I think this one will be a lot more mica powder. Now, one thing that we did in advance of today's stream Let's make some big crystals. Look at this. Yeah, we made resin crystals. So here's one. Here's another. So we made them using clear and, and some other things. There's just a whole bag full of uh, resin crystals. Yeah. Well, maybe the Patrick, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. We appreciate it. So I think we should kind of like lay them out here. Yeah, kind of get a lay of the land. Oh, this needs to go this way. There you go. Cool. Let's at least lay the big ones out. Oh, look where the hanger is. Look where the what is? Where the hanger is. 
What hanger? The hanger. The, the, the hanger. Oh! That's a good idea. Where would we want it? Would we want it on the bottom or the side or top? Maybe like an angle, like bottom angle. This one I think can kind of be anywhere. They're all just lifted temporarily. Oh, it's, uh, it's, the it's, it's right, right across here. there. I so think we should do it like slightly angled. Yeah, kind of like. A little off kilter there. This? Yeah, I like that. Good reminder, chat. Level it again, you moved it. We can um, put pop the level on there again, just double check. Should we like, should we glue some of these down beforehand? We could hot glue them. We can also just like place them in the resin, like it, the resin probably but mostly. Some of these will fall down. Yeah, uh, I can turn on the hot glue then. <clears throat> yeah. It'll heat up fast. <clears throat> Most of these are good. It's just, I think this yep. one will fall down. This will fall down. This will fall down. We also have a bunch of these little so, stones. Yeah, fun. If we want even more. Then we have the, the diamond dust, which um, burst open in the mail. Oh, got, it's, it's glass shards. Yeah, it's literally crushed glass. It got everywhere. <laughs> won't the resin melt the hot glue? Nah, it won't be getting that hot. It only gets that hot if it is going into thermal runaway, which we are going to avoid. All right, let me double check the level again. Yeah, good. Okay, cool. Oh, I got yeah. resin on me somehow at some point. Oh. Oh no. Mimi. Yeah, that one's gonna fall over. Fun. I'm glad we made so many crystals. We're gonna use all of them. Do you think we should use these? They kind of stand out in not the best way. Yeah. I think maybe not, just because they're like growing. The crystals are growing in a different direction than the yeah, others. And yeah, I, think that I like looks the weird. straight up crystals. Yeah, I like them going up too. Straight up crystals. I have an inch on my eyeball. Oh no. I'm going to breathe in. <laughs> okay. Evan and Karen, do you ever design your own levels and put them as merch on the store? These are kind of... I, I designed and made these. I 3D printed them and I ordered all the hardware. I guess I could. But I haven't thought about it. I wouldn't make them myself. I could maybe put the files up. I'll, I'll post the files to Patreon if you guys want them. You need to write that down if you're offering it so we don't forget. Our, our Patreon people will remind us. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> Post level files for Patreon and YouTube members. And the cool thing is you don't need uh, it to be as big as this. This is a 24 by 24 inch leveling surface. You can put it on a 12 by 12 or whatever you want. Anything that's an eighth of an inch thick, you can use. Coco can breathe in the resin fumes, yes. Coco is immune. Coco has robot lungs. Yeah, so it's this one that'll fall over. Okay, hot glue is ready. It's mainly this one that's gonna fall over. Yeah. I'm still down to put a dot under some of the others if we want, just to like hold them in place. So we're not worried about them like getting- This one. Blown around. This one. Mm-hmm. Are, are we just gonna glue all of them? Because I don't want to oh. worry about them blowing around. Okay, yeah. So, so do we just want to like put them in the arc right there and fill them in with the other things? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think All we right, just yeah. start going these, and we'll, we'll we can add some of these after. Yeah, go for it. I'm not adding like a ton of hot glue. I'm 
just doing a little amount. Because I don't want it to like squish out. Yeah. The split top. Oh yeah, I think that's I think that's a cool. I somehow I grabbed like one Evan glove. <laughs> ah! Show my hands. You'll need to go back to Maine. Mm. Oh. Can you tell which is the Caitlin glove and which is the Evan glove? <laughs> Oops. Here, I'll just give this back to you. <laughs> yeah, I know where I left off. Yeah, from here down and then these two. Yeah, you can go back to split top. Mm -hmm. right. You're doing great, baby. Thanks. Hey. And I, I'm considering if we should glue down the little crystals or maybe place them after we blow yes. and blend the resin. Yes. Okay, yeah. I think we'll do the little ones later. And we'll like we'll mix in the little um crushed things and everything. Yeah. I think this is gonna be really fun. I know. It's been so long since we did a geode anything. Years. So I'm trying to go back. We did it. The first geode thing we did were the discs, right? By discs, you mean just the like slices? The slices. Yes. Then we did a geode table. Where we poured geode into a big like wood cookie. Yep. And then what other geode did we do? That's all we've done in my memory. Really? Yeah. So we did those within like a month period of each other. And I don't think we've done it since. Oh my gosh. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. I, I think... should have been mixing resin during yes, that time. Yes, definitely. <laughs> That's okay. Should I do um, 150? I think what you did for the ocean worked. All right. So I think we can just do that again. I forget. I'll start with 150. Okay. I can always mix up more later. And I'm just thinking like various shades of purple. Maybe a hint of blue mixed in. Yeah. I'll just kind of like wing it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. Should we do any like oh, soap? The geode soap. We did do a geode soap. You're right. But that wasn't with resin. Um, should we do uh, any like white or silver? I think white, yeah. Yeah. Let's do white. Do you have white? Yeah. Stopper, thank you for the four month sub. Did you do a large geo table at one point? We did. That was the one I was talking about where um, we poured it in wood. So we got a cookie slab, which is like a cross section of a tree. And we carved out the center of it and we poured geode in the center. Geode knife. We did do a geode knife, but it was, we called it geode, but it didn't look like a geode. We did make a geode knife though. Uh... I don't think it really looked like a geode. Was it this one, right? I think so. The fact that I can't remember which one it is. So like, I think it's just, it kind of looks stone-esque, but I wouldn't, I don't know if I would categorize this one as geode in the end. Carefully place that back. Yeah, so I'm thinking we'll do a pure white We'll do a straight up purple, a dark purple, some alcohol ink with some mica. Ooh, in all of and these, we purple. should put micro, micro spark glitter. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Micro me, glitter in all ooh, of them. Ooh, yes, let me grab it. Excuse me, Coco. Coco wants to be bedazzled with geodes. <laughs> <laughs> It was right next to Coco. He had it. The resin eyes was one of the first videos I watched. Oh, that's so cool. 
I'm looking at this. I'm, I'm probably going to pour all of this out and then immediately mix up another batch. Sounds good. I'll just use the same container since it's so quick. Yeah. I think we can just put it into split top mode. Yep. And I can show the colors that way. That way you can uh, mix. Sometimes you add gold as well. Yeah, we have added gold in the past. I think I'm going to pass on it just because, like, I feel like I, I'll, I'll like it better now without the gold. But I don't know. Okay. Micro glitter and everything. We love this glitter. It's just, like, super, super, super fine liquid glitter. I'm going to do it in every one. Wee. We do have another one of these, which I'm probably going to need to grab because it's basically empty. I'll grab it now. Cool. Thanks, baby. Oh, thank goodness we ordered like four of them at one point. We've gone through them. Okay, that's a white. I'm gonna do a light purple. Go, baby. It's pretty. Now we'll do like a pure purple. Oh, this is looking so cool over here. We'll do a purple with black, like a dark purple. I'll show you guys these in a second. No, I don't want to do too much black. I don't want to overpower it. But I do want it to be dark. Okay. And then let's do one that is like a transparent purple. Semi-transparent purple. Like a little bit of mica. And ooh, I'm going to do like the blue violet. Um, kind of like indigo. Oh, it just looks like straight up purple. I think it's a little bit more cool toned. Okay. Oh, sticky. Can you uh, do the top? top? Thanks, baby. Okay, mm. the most boring one. This is white. Wow. Wow. I think I need to add more pigment. Wee. Just a nice curly white. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Now we'll do a, this one. I have some white pigment and some purple pigment. It's like a light purple. We'll see if we need to add more of either color once we get this blended up. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. It's a little sheer. Do I like it though? I may want to add a smidge more of each color. Because this one, everything is pretty opaque. A little more white, a little more purple. That's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We have the pure purple. Fun. Yeah. Want me to zoom it in at all? Um, if you want. It's funny, it just looks like I'm mixing it over a camera. Imagine, yeah. like, mixing resin right over a camera. So precarious. And here's, like, the pure purple. Nice. This one is purple and black mica for dark purple. Ooh. Maybe we'll hold it over the camera. It's focusing on itself. Oh, sorry. There you there go. Yeah, it's good. Ooh, nice. That's pretty. Like a dark midnight purple. I might even add a, a smidge more of each pigment of the black. I just realized how dangerous it is to be mixing over the center of the mirror. Because the center of the mirror isn't getting... Oh, that is dangerous. I could stop. No, no, no. I think it's fine. It's fun. Fun danger. Okay, I added a little bit more pigment. Here we go. And then one more. This is the like indigo kind of alcohol Hold ink. More in the center? Sorry. There you go. Indigo alcohol ink with a little bit of pigment. Ooh. Ooh that's oh my gosh. Nice. 
We might need more of that one. I I'm almost on mixing up more. That's pretty. Okay. You just want to start pouring some? I think I might just start pouring some. Um, um, and if I remember correctly, for the geode, we kind of do bands. Yeah. I also have a memory of just doing drops of alcohol ink on top to get cells. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if we're feeling I'm, crazy. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. We can do that. So I'm just going to, I'll start with the color I have most of. But yeah, we kind of do like striations and it's not too mixed. Should we look at the inspiration one more time? Sure. Now, one hard thing is like, okay, let's see. So purple, she did purple, then crystals on top, then more purple, then more crystals. <laughs> I'm not sure how useful my dialogue is. You can see what <laughs> we're seeing. Just scoot over the side, Kaylin. And she mixed the diamond dust with resin. Oh, to make it like okay. a gluey blob and yeah. stick on there. Okay. Let's have fun with it, you guys. Yeah. Let's have fun. This is going to flow where it flows. Yeah, it's going to flow where it flows. Now, I am going to kind of like coax the resin around with a stick. Because one thing I realized, you know, it, it looks like she could have placed these in the resin, which makes it a lot easier to make like a nice stripe. Because I have to make sure I don't pour this onto the crystals. In some ways, I'd be okay with that. No, that would be bad. I don't know. So like this first one, I'm going to do really carefully. You don't want it to be on the crystals. Hmm. Because that's not how they would form. With like just like a random blob. But like it'll slide off the top. It might not. And it'll, it'll pool in the bases in a cool way, I think. But I don't think we want that, right? I don't know. I'll be okay with it. I'm okay if they're slightly tinted purple. I don't think it would be slight tint. I think it would be blob. Now I'm going to put one of these right here and pour over it and see what happens. All right, we have a test piece down there. Okay. I'm going to change my glove so I can do mobile cam. I'm just trying to like fully saturate around the base of these. All right, it's looking nice already. I like it. Yeah. Just trying to get the resin to go like in between these crystals. I'm going to get tweezers so I can start placing the little ones. Sounds good. Didn't we get better You're right, it, it did kind of slide off that one, but um, I think because this is a lighter color, but I think if it was a darker color, it might be an issue. Yeah, but we could like pour, so we can make some more of that. Hey, I, I, I like the look of that. It adds some extra sparkle. But it's okay. going to look different if it pools in between, because then it's going to be concentrated. Yeah. Yeah, true. Um, did you mix a second batch of resin? Yes. Do you want to pour it into separate cups so it's not one big? Because that's going to start kicking like really soon. All right. Good thing we have all these cups. Good thing. Ooh, this is pretty. Woo! Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. Looks nice. Thanks. I'm going to do some of the like semi-translucent one. Get a little swirl. Thanks for splitting those. I didn't want to have course, that baby. big one kick. We are, we are one team. One team. Two brain, one brain. Two bodies, one body. I'm going to start placing these little crystals. Yeah. in between to kind of like fill in the gaps kind of Boop. once i start to flow it's hard for me to stop it yeah sorry i'm 
I'm gonna do the white on the edge because I feel like um. That'll... Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah. Oh, here. Um, I need to film you doing that. <laughs> okay, give me one second. I'll film you. No, I, I can film you. Or okay, yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure if the top down's in focus because I think it's ref focusing on itself. Here, oh, me... you might be right. Let me move where it's focusing on. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell what's in focus. I can't either. Okay. I kind of want to place those last. Um, because it'll be hard to like pour around them. That didn't look good. Oh, those are hearts. It. Yeah. Okay. I think that's as far out as I want to go. Okay. You don't want me to add any more? No, not yet. Well, I think um, it's going to be much harder to add stripes once all these crystals are down. So I think we should get the full amount we want and then add crystals. Mm. Yeah, because like, I think right now, it's, it's so far, these are so far from here. You know what I mean? Is that bad? They're like, you know, I don't know. I don't think that's bad. Or it doesn't bother me at least. What should we do on the outer edge? Should we do these? These? I think the or this? Yeah, I think the glass. Okay. Let's start mixing some into uh some one of these glass cups. into the uh yeah. So why don't you why don't you get out of those because those are pretty dirty. Okay. You can film me mixing this in. I'd love to. And I'm going to hold over this the entire time because it's literally broken glass shards. Yep. This is like, in some ways, like the most dangerous product ever made. I know. It's just, it's just broken glass. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get the spoons. Good idea. Because I really don't want to spill this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it does look nice, though. Let me stir it up and see what happens. Yeah. Whoa. This is really cool Whoa. stuff. Whoa. I think add even more. Yeah, a uh, hundred percent more. That's cool. Forbidden sugar. Oh my gosh, it I looks know, delicious. right? It does look delicious. I just want to pour that on some pancakes. Or like top some cookies with it. Yes. There we go. That looks like a, like about the texture. She might have even had even more crystals. You might need to transfer to a different cup. I need so to you can yeah, I need to transfer to another more. cup. Here, I can grab cup. I have um. I, 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 my, my, mine are good. Okay. Mmm. A spoonful of glass helps the medicine go down. Oh yeah, crystal sludge. Ooh. I think that's it. Yeah. And she kind of like molded it into a line. I, I so we can, can do, do that, that like on the, um, on both edges. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Oh, this is neat stuff. It's like crystal slime. And we'll just have to be conscious of that top edge. Because, like, we need it to be a clean edge in the end. Oh, that's looking really good. That's cool. This is so neat. And I'm going to come around to the other side.
Oh my gosh. That is cool. What a cool technique. Like, I, I've never done this with resin before. All right. Mix up some more. Yep, there's a good consistency. Mmm. And I think you can even, like, maybe try making the line get thinner as you go. That way it's not, like, consistent. I don't know. That could look kind of cool. Like, a bit more organic. You can kind of taper, like, the thin part and the thick part together. Yeah. That's fun. Might even just like put I a little bit. I think you should put some blobs like in like this white patch. In between here. Oh, that too. But yeah, also like right, right here. Oh, like a blob right in the center. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it's almost like the white is like surrounding where the crystals come I'm, up. I'm, I'm gonna mix some more of that up. I know it's so cool. It's so neat. It was worth having it burst in our mail. <laughs> To now own it. Well, we're going to go through a lot of it, honestly, today. Yeah. There's like a forbidden slushy. Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah, it is a forbidden slushy. Look at that. That's really cool. Also, do we want to do any drops of alcohol ink, or are we worried that that might mess it up? I don't know, I'm kind of just loving this right I'm here. I'm kind of loving it too, yeah. It's gonna to want to like apply it. Yes. Here and like help fill in like a little yeah. bit of the. And if you want to sprinkle any more of the like little medium crystals, we can do that too. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time focusing. Just there we go. Add it into like this, and it really like helps. Oh, that's Join cool. them in these gaps and everything. That's cool. Oh yeah. Kind of like work it in. Yeah. Forbidden sludge. But just make sure we like don't lose all of our stripes. I really like those dark striations there. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll sprinkle in some of these. Yeah. Let's still try to leave a few like shows of purple. This is cool. I just kind of want to like join the patch. Yeah. The patches, you know what I mean? It's so dimensional. This is much more dimensional than our, fat, our uh, past geodes. I'm just going to make sure they're all touching resin, because otherwise they'll fall off. Yeah, yeah. I might just add a little bit. Oh, wow, this is already cured. Oh, geez. I just need to add a little bit on top of this one. Oops. Sorry. Oh no! My it's fear! Good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's not! Yeah, cover it with white to like wash it off. There you go. Okay. Ooh, baby, is it done? What do you think? It's I want done. to add some like smaller ones around the side. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? To like taper it back down. And then one, I'm just going to dip into resin oh. and then apply it. Oop. Oh no, we apply lost it. Again. Dip it into resin and then apply it. There you go. Is that good? Should I apply some more goop or should I just leave it? Um, here, can I, let me set this down so I can like look at it, not through a camera screen. Maybe, maybe do the top down for them, split top. Yeah, yeah. My gosh, I'm kind of loving it. I kind of love it too. I love how you got like some of the crystals in between the like the, yeah. the shards in between the crystals. Yeah. I think it might be good. I don't know if I would mess with it anymore. I kind of Ooh. like it. Chat says leave it. <laughs> right, do you want to give a mobile tour? Yeah, yeah. I'll give a tour from this side where I can be a bit closer to it. Yeah. 
Okay, guys. You can also just press mobile. It'll go straight to mobile. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, if you want. Okay. Here's the tour. You can kind of see it from a closer perspective. See how Evan got like the crystals kind of, I like the glass shards in between the resin crystals to kind of build it up. I love the volume. We still have some striations going on with the darker purple. I love the thick crystals at the edge here. Now let me go in from like a side view. Yeah, you can really see like the dimension. Pretty cool. And like we said, this one isn't really like utilizing the mirror effect. It just looks cool on a mirror. It just looks cool on a mirror. <laughs> yeah, which you know, that's totally acceptable. I love that. I love that. Okay, let's uh, transfer it. Yes. Ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, also guys, look at this. This is Thermal Runaway. Let me see. Oh, yep. See the bubbles? Thermal Runaway, too thick. And it's cured. All right. Let's carefully lift this boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. The sparkly glass crystals look so good as you move through the light. Yeah. It's hard to even really see. Oh, yeah. I feel like you almost see them better now where we have a um, more one-sided light instead of um, like overall ambient, not ambient, but just like a fuller light. Yeah. This, the light is more one-sided and I feel like you see it so much better. That's cool. Oh yeah, and like when you step in front of the light, it really changes it, that's so cool. I had fun doing a geode again. We should do more geodes. We should do more geodes. Resin works so well for geodes. Especially now that we know about the crushed glass. Yeah, and I love the... Uh, now we have the leveling tables too, you know? Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I love that. Fun stuff. Oh, wow, look at those stickers again from shopevanandkaitlin.com. So cool. Hee hee hee. Okay, and we're back. Over here. All right. Do you want to open up? Start opening up the dried pouches, baby. What? The dried flower pouches. Yeah. Let's clean up this stuff first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. resting my back by going like this. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that we only have uh, one more design left. One more. My, my my back is like. <laughs> the even my back is going. Giving out. Okay, I'm just going to scoot these. I'm going to go over there and I'll scoot everything to the side. All right. Where's the container for the glass? There it is. Oh, yeah. This should be a bag. Chat says the edges remind me of like a salt scrub. It totally does look like a salt scrub. Very much that vibe. Chat's asking if this stream is sponsored by Coco. <laughs> what? Our, our Lord and Savior Coco? You know, all, all hell, Coco. Yeah, maybe Hopefully not she sponsored. does not curse the stream. <laughs> Please, Coco, we need the stream to continue. Don't end it prematurely. <laughs> we only have one left, Coco. We're almost there. Let us get through it. Oh boy, our uh, foil is getting real resiny. So actually, resiny. I might set this out just because I need like some clean areas to lay out our flowers. Yeah, yeah, just cover it. Would you mind grabbing those two sticks if they'll lift? Cool. Wait, wait, can I sew it first? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's art. It's art itself. Yes, it is art. Yeah, I'll show it. I have clean hands. Everyone. Turn down the brightness. This is the uh, the bonus art. Even more. Uh. <laughs> and now I'm gonna cover it. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'll start opening these before we oh. queue it up. I know, the backs. The backs. 
All right, I'm gonna get the last mirror. Sounds great, baby. And just like that, the mess is gone. Yes, so easy. This one, we don't need to worry about uh, what side's up and what side is down. No. Let's see if uh, the top is centered. It's not. Oh, no. I need to move. I'm going to magnet these scissors on. This way. And twist that way. <clears throat> All right. And then, this one looks a little bit dirty. So I'm going to clean it real quick. Yeah. Who is missing the poster on the cabinet? Oh, uh, Nugget is missing. Oh, do you want to give a shout out to what event that's from? Yeah, Nugget is missing. This is from uh, Open Sauce last year. We took one of the posters at the end. Um, we're going again this year. It was super fun last year. You guys should go if you get a chance. Go to opensauce.com for tickets. Um, there's going to be a lot of really cool creators there. Yeah, it's in San Francisco in June. Um, so yeah, you guys should come. It's going to be really fun. There's like... There's an insane amount of cool creators. But, like from this space but also there's just like a lot of really cool stuff yeah like people are bringing a lot of cool projects mm. and things like that and should we announce something else about it no no just in case just in case all right with potentially more to be announced <laughs> all right guys for the very last resin mirror we present to you Flowers. Flowers. Now Flowers I'm realizing watching this again that this is an incredibly small mirror and we have a very large mirror. So the scale is going to look a bit different because that's, look how tiny that is. Minuscule. We'll have to adapt this design. Yeah. But we have a bunch of different size white flowers and we have some little fern leaves and I think we just lay them out. Now it looks like they poured the resin first and then kind of put them down. Yeah, pour the resin, put them down, and then pour a little more resin on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'd be down to, like, pour some resin, paint it on, kind of, thin. And they got kind of a nice, like, swirly edge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, there you go. I have a 50-cent paintbrush. I think that's too big. Too big? But we have two-cent paintbrushes. That'll be perfect. Oh, yeah, I'm down with that. I'll get another one. Just in case. Oh. So, one thing I realize is we've never... Have we embedded flowers in resin before? We've embed embedded flowers in soap. I think there might have been like a five-minute crafts video where we might have put a flower in some resin. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> like, we've done a lot of resin stuff. First, let's open these containers. They're all open. Oh. <laughs> You're right. What is this? Sticky pad? Defecant. What? Defecant. What? It, it dries the air. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are so pretty. I'm gonna grab one of each. There's a bunch of different flowers. You know, just pick one. So delicate. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God. It's so pretty. It's so flat. We never embedded flowers in resin before of a little literal rose. That's true. Okay, we did do a rose. <laughs> We've never done dried flowers. Focus. Look at that. <gasps> All of chat is like, the rose, lol, the rose, they forgot the rose, the rose, LMAO. <laughs> so cute. Okay, the ring holder. Yeah, I was thinking there was like a five minute crafts ring holder. And that one did have some dried flowers in it. These are so pretty. I know, right? Okay. We, hey, we've never done a flat dried flowers. How much? Or leaves. How this many, is new. How many resins should we do? About the same as a geode? Mm. 
The ring holders were plastic flowers? Oh, okay. Yeah, plastic flowers. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. yeah, you're right. Those are plastic. And the resin rose was a fresh rose. So this is the first dried flower. <laughs> that makes it different. Do you want to try, like, laying them out? Dry first? Do, like, a dry run, literally? Mm -hmm. Nah, I think we can wing it. Wing it? Okay. Do floors, floors in a resin pyramid. It's so cute. Like in a 3D resin triangle. We have a mold. We have that mold. We do. And we D could probably deep cure resin it in one, perhaps. DNZ Sil, thank you for the sub. And Hella Hond, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it, you guys. I bet the dry flowers do better. Yeah, I sure hope so. <laughs> Since they're literally made for this. We don't have any moisture from the flowers leaking out into the resin and preventing curing. Yeah. Where's the mirror ha hanger facing? These, it, it doesn't really matter where the hanger is. Um, Cause it's gonna be all around like in the example. Tweezers to help lay the flowers out slash rearrange. That's a good idea. Where's the nasty tweezers? These are the nasty ones. The resin tweezers. Okay. Are they real or plastic? These are real. But they are dried. And they are pressed. And they are pressed. And they are flat. And they are delicate. One already broke. This is going to be so pretty. I know. Where are we going to put all of these? Oh my gosh. We have a room of mirrors. <laughs> Just put them we, all. We have our, we, we're part of the monthly mirror club. Oh, yeah, yeah, Every yeah. Every month we swap out a mirror. We're sponsored by the monthly mirror club? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Just directly across from the toilet. <laughs> I think it would be fun to like swap out mirrors every now and then. Well, let's let's hang one mirror and let's swap it regularly. Sure. I think that'd be fun. Guest bathroom with the toilet seat. Yeah, do it with the velvet toilet seat. <laughs> yeah. Recreate the mirror maze from the cursed house slipper stream. <laughs> we need a lot more mirrors. Guess what families are getting for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, everyone's getting a mirror for the holidays. We have done that before. You can make an art installation of all the mirrors, yes. If we had an Evan and Caitlin Art Museum, what would you be most proud to put in there? Coco? <laughs> Maybe. The thing is, it's always like the most recent creation. Yeah, yeah. Because it's the freshest. So my brain did go to Coco, yes. But we would need like groups. Like, you know when you go to like a, um, a museum? There's yep. like little rooms with like vignettes, so we'd have to have like a toilet room. Yeah. You know. The keyboard a room. Keyboard room. Yep. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Furby <laughs> Coco says me. I am your best creation. Yeah. Leg of the leg table. Leg of the table. Yeah. The flock room. Oh wow. All right, ready, baby? Yep. Let me just uh, wake oh. this up. I'm going to top split, maybe. Sure, yeah. And then uh, you can paint it. Pretty. Just a beautiful view of the top down camera. And the pumpkins. We do have three pumpkins in cubes. And then there's bean. Okay, do you want to paint it? Yeah. Should I paint it to the edges? Yeah. Routine satisfying. I think that if the um if the pieces hang off the edges, we can trim them later. I'll do that tomorrow. I think let's try to not have them hang off. I guess we could just like rip them and cut them and stuff. Yeah, we can cut them, but they don't have to go to the edges. Yeah. I think we might need to pour more resin. I think I want to try something. Sure. I'm going to place this down. 
push it down like this and kind of like pat it down. So you want to have the resin be this thick? In this spot, yeah. Okay, okay. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we place everything, and then we do another layer of resin on top. On top, so like yes, and go in where these go in. Yes. And then ooh ooh. The rope, I do do like a. That feels like natural, right? Yeah. Like they're coming from the same plant. Yes, I like that. I think this is good. This is a good strategy. Let's just work our way around the edge. Yeah. Making little floral creations. Yeah. It's fun. Oops. Oops. Oh. oh. He's dumping all of them. Whoa, look at these. Ooh, pretty. Put some. I love that. Let me get some tweezers. I gave it to Leaf. Oh, there's tweezers out. I think they're under the napkins. I just grabbed another one. Okay, there's also some right there. Ooh, this is very fun. I love how delicate these are. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> Beautiful. Right there? Sure. Wherever you're feeling it, baby. We're just making our own flower creations here. Oh my gosh. Pretty. Yes. Oh this my is... gosh, look at this thing. <laughs> it's so cute. Every five seconds, I've been going, oh my gosh, this. They're all so wonderful. I know. We got this variety pack online. That has a little bit of everything. It's got a variety, you could say. I think we should have another large one, kind of right here, the balance. Mm hmm I love that. You kind of want to like add. Yeah, we might need to put to it. some resin under him. This is fun. Wow. You guys, I am loving this. Honestly, I think ours is going to be even cooler because I, I like the variety of flowers and yeah. leaves. Not that that one isn't pretty. It is very pretty. It was just like a more uniform vibe. And I kind of personally prefer the bit more variety. We're even going to layer two flowers on top of each other. Ooh. Because I like how big that one is, but I like the center of this one. Go for it, baby. Get crazy. Oh, yeah. We're just making new plants. Heck yeah. Ooh, these would make for a pretty clock. Ooh, that would be pretty. Yeah, this is so fun. I'm vibing. This is a, a relaxing resin pour. Some resin pours aren't so relaxing. This hmm. one's relaxing. Oh, yeah. I'm loving this so much. I cut the little string coming off the end here. I think each one of these resin creations has been unique and beautiful in its own way, honestly. Mm hmm Chat wants a little flower in the gap. They said at the top. What would be the top for them? This. A little flower right here. Do you want to find like a little one? Yep. Right here? Yeah. Good call, chat. Yeah, I like little flowers, like where there's gaps. Yeah. I'm going to find a little one of these. Oh, here's a nice little one. Oh, I got it. Thank you. There's no resin on that, right? Nope. That's our resin free tweezers. I don't open up the other variety packs. I think it's the same thing. I just kind of want to see it spread around. Yeah. 
You do this different type of twig there. Ooh. Ooh. This one right here. Yeah, go for it, baby. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm even liking there's like super, super itty bitty ones. Yep. And I'm going to like place those two in random places. Oh my God. Oh, oh this is so fun, you guys. It's so mm. fun. Okay, I'm going to come around to the other side briefly. I'll try not to block your view too I'm, much, this guys. This might be one of my favorites so far, even though I'm not... I haven't looked at the other ones in a little bit, and this is the most recent one, and I'm always inclined towards the most recent one. <laughs> yeah. But this is making me very happy. It's also just been so pretty outside and the weather has been really good. Yeah, this is a very springtime, um, very springtime mirror. I'm going to divide this into multiple cups to prevent it from curing. Good idea. I just had like a nervous moment of like, wait. I think that would probably be fine. And I can make some more. Yeah. If we need. Now, how much, how much do we want to join the in-betweens? I, I think like, like this little, needs a little bit more. I like the clusters, but I, I you know, I, I don't want, um, I don't know, I have mixed feelings. I like that like some are like shorter ones like this is like a little shorter cluster one thing i might try doing i think we could do little mini clusters oh yeah cut it i'm gonna cut it oh my gosh look at this oh my gosh oh i love that yes All cut right. a few more we have so many cut of them. these I think this is what we do, do little ones around the outside. Yeah. Or like, see what I did like right here with two of the little ones with like a little tiny flower. Oh yeah, I love that. This is so nice. I'm just like zenning. Let's do one more like big flower combo, maybe over here, like this right. one. You can even layer it again if you want. I think it's maybe like- Oh yeah, he's pretty. Just not that like that. Yeah. You're right. I think we need more of these. Yeah, let's do some big ones over there. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. That's helping. I like it a lot. Do like another little mini leaf. I'm just like really zenning out with this one. I feel like we're getting close. But I've also been happy with everything we've added, so. I know, it's a tough, it's a tough game. It makes it hard to stop. It's a dangerous game we're playing here. Yes. So I found some I found some bigger pieces that are really good. Look at these, baby. Oh my gosh, we have to put them somewhere. <gasps> yeah, maybe like right here. I'm trying to like look at the top down view. I'm going to cut a couple more. I think maybe stop soon. Yeah. 
let's look on the top down. Does anywhere feel kind of bare? Like, does this feel like it needs like a little something else? Like this, maybe? No, that's too that big. That might be too big. I can just do like this. What about this? Yeah, oh yeah, let's do that. That's pretty. I love this. I could just do this all day. I know, honestly. This is it's going to be these... hard to stop because I just like am really enjoying it. I'm going to add some of these like really tiny little individual flowers. Yep, 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 yep. Look, look at this little guy. He's so small. He's just a small bean. Well, I'm glad I got two packs of the flowers. I'm glad too. That's a pretty little one right there. I think the main thing I'm worried about is when we pour resin on it, that they're going to move, they're going to shift. We'll just have to do it really carefully. And then I think we'll have to move them again afterwards. Okay, there's a lot of these right, all right here. I think we should maybe, if we're going to do more, put them like maybe like right here or something just to mix it up. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you're totally right. They could very much move. Yeah, I feel like this area needs some more white. Oh, I like Ooh, that. Yes. I like let that layering. Ooh, that's a cute little one. Yeah, we're we're placing them all. Maybe you could do it like here. We're placing them all so precisely, but they could totally all oh yeah, that looks cool. They could totally slide around and move around. Yeah. I think the last really good thing that we have is this. I think right here, I think this needs some height coming up. It just seems to be the, the lowest area. Okay, I'm cool. loving it. I think let's call it. Cool, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. And now we have to pour the rest of the resin and try not to mess it all up. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Oh no, it's, it's, it's behaving really well. Oh, it's behaving said, really well. You started your sentence with "oh no," and that scared me very much. No, 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 no. It's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's even better than I thought. Woo. Okay. Woo. Okay. It's interesting. I going into this. I thought this would be like maybe not as interesting as some of them because you know the resin itself is just clear. Yeah. But like I really love it, honestly. This is one of my favorites. I know. It's one of my favorites. And again, maybe it's just the bias of like whatever one we did last, but I'm like, mmm, this is the first one I want to hang, you know? Oh yeah, they're laying down really nicely. I think just like the controlled slow pours. Low drizzle. Yeah, low drizzle. But I think the other one that I'm really interested in, once it's all cured, is the iridescent. Mm, that's true. That's true. I'm really interested in the iridescent. I'm going to um, switch to mobile. Wake yep. it up. Guys, look at this. Very satisfying. That's nice. And it can just have an organic edge. Yeah, I love that. Because it's all organic. You know, I might actually add one more. Yeah, yeah. And we, if you want to go to the other side, you can. You Oopsie. cutting a little, a little guy? I can't see what you're doing. You're yeah. gonna have to narrate it. There you go. I just felt like that area needed a little something. Yeah, you might just need to kind of poke it down. 
Ooh, yes. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Yes. Okay, Pretty. cool. Pretty. I love the white flowers layered on top of the ferns. It's so pretty. Just want to oh. fill in that. Yeah. We're going to fill, fill it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'll be a nicer shape anyways. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure we didn't forget about it and we filled it in. Our resin is definitely encroaching into our mirror more, but that's just because we put so many flowers. And I wouldn't have wanted to give up any of these. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh my God. Ah. Now here's a question. What if we covered the whole thing in resin? I kind of like the wet edge. Okay. Cause it what looks like, think? cause it looks like water. Yeah. I'll see what I think once it's, once we, Finish it. I'm just having a hard time focusing. I am open either way. I'm open either way. Let's finish it and then let's see. I'm curious. We could maybe even do a poll and just get like people's opinions. Let's finish it and then let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna need to mix up more resin anyways. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? Just that we needed more resin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think the main danger of mixing, pouring in the centers, I might push it off. Yeah. I'm, I'm leaning towards not filling it in. Um, Cause yeah, I don't want it to slide off. Uh, but also we don't know how much it's gonna slide towards the center when it cures. True. Um, but it shouldn't slide in towards the center much. That's true. The first leaves are starting to slide off a little bit, a little bit. We'll push them all back on. I think if we did do some in the center, we'll just have to be really careful. Yeah. Now the resin does warp the mirror. So it wouldn't really be a mirror afterwards. It might be mirror like. It would be mirror esque. More resin, always more resin. Hmm. Second thinner layer after the first layer cures. That's a potential. Yeah, we, we might need to do that regardless, depending on if there's stuff sticking out. Hmm, true. Add little blobs of resin to look even more like water. That could be cute, like a few little, like, if we were really controlled about it, a few little dots here and there. Hmm. Like little splashes. But just like drops. Not try to make it look like splashes because it's gonna, if it touches other resin, it's just gonna morph. It can only be a circle. Anything else will lose whatever shape we put. Yeah. Cover the whole mirror so it's even. And you should have, I mean, you should have worn your flowery words are hard t shirt, missed opportunity. Oh, so yeah. True. That would have been perfect. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to wait until we're part way done. Yeah, I think we need to finish yeah. the loop and then see. Yeah. Because one worry I have is that like, does the edge look kind of like messy? Like, would this be so much classier if it was just flat? And I think it would, I think it would look classier if we filled it in. Mm. We're just gonna have to be super careful if we do that because it will slide. Yeah. Which is risky. I'm open to it. I'm open to it. I'm also open to doing the water drops. Or keeping the edge. I think we just need to see it. Yeah. It's yeah. hard for me to really tell. We'll start we'll start with that. Yeah. And this one I might want to flame blast a little bit. Yeah, just since it's just clear. Yeah, but, I then, see. but what if you burn the flowers? The flowers are protected by the resin. Or they should be. Mm -hmm.
Okay, I'm Gosh. ready. Split top. I'll do, um, I like the handheld. All right. Okay. I also realized I should go back over all the flowers. Yeah. Just a little bit. Since they're a little thicker. Especially I noticed um, this one definitely needed some. Yeah, because that was like two flowers layered on top of each other. Yeah. This needed some, that needed some, these needed some. A lot of them weren't in the resin yet. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them we just put them on top. Yeah. To like anchor them. Woo, pretty. No. So pretty. Oh my gosh, sorry though. I'm just, I feel like I'm just kind of like sitting here in silence because I'm just focusing. Me too. Well, I'm, I'm concentrating and mesmerized at the same point. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. So nice. I love just like the white and green with a little bit of yellow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there, get that little okay. guy. Okay. Now it's pretty much covered. Yeah, things are sliding a bit already. But now we have to make a choice about... Oh, one, one lost. Oh no! One overboard. I'll get this dirty. Look at that, save that little flower. Oh yeah, save him. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have more overboard if we pour more. But what, what would be the best finished result? Leave it kind of an organic edge, like the original, or fill it in? The split, I feel like the top down kind of shows it nicely. I, I think like that this needs edge. to be more even edge no matter what. Just a little Organic, bit. Organic, fill it, leave it. Yeah, should we do a poll? Fill it or leave it? Yeah, let's do a poll. Mods, can you set one up? Yeah, we'll do a poll. We won't abide by it. But we might. But we might. We might. Especially if there's like a strong result. Yeah, if there's a really strong result, we'll probably abide by it. Leave it, leave it with drops like water. I could try doing like a drop to see what it looks like. I'm gonna turn on the pole real quick. It is, um... I see the pull at the top of the 63%. 60% leave it. Mmm. Fill it with water ripples. I don't think we can really make it ripple, just because the resin is going to, like, level out. Yeah. Leave it, but with droplets. Should I do one droplet? And if we don't like it... We'll just pour a little bit more. Like, I could do a droplet here, and if we don't like it, we'll just fill it in a bit. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, let's stuff, see. Uh, stuff is definitely sliding off. It is sliding off. Fill it is at 42%, leave it is at 58%. Oh yeah, some are definitely sliding. Oh yeah, that one's up. definitely sliding. Yeah. 
It's okay. We still have some time. I'm gonna. I don't want the resin on it. Oh yeah, good good idea. Oh, there's so much resin on here. Oh, sorry. It's We're okay. just gonna have to like let you know. We'll just let it cure and we'll peel go. off what we can. Fifty-seven percent. Leave it. Forty-three percent. Fill it. Man, the fill it crowd is coming in. Yeah, it's only changed one percentage point. Oh, okay. It started out 60, leave it. Ah. Yeah, it's like, for me, I would probably fill it and have it as a shiny art piece rather than leave it and have it be a semi-functional mirror. I think that's what I would do. And we can do it later because there'll be a line. Yeah, no, we can't do it later. It's now, now or never. And we only have so much control over the edges and how they're going to look. Organic edge, but make it blobbier? More uh, blobby? I don't think we can. If we pour more, it's just going to go in so much. Yeah. Would you put something in the middle if you filled it? I don't think so. I kind of like, I kind of like that the center is a full usable mirror. Okay. 47% fill, 53 leave. Wow. Leave it was strong. But they, 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 they brought it like really close to tide. I can't believe this. <laughs> Oh my I mean, God. honestly, either way, I think it's going to be really cool. Either way, it's going to be cool. Yeah. I'm going to just... Uh... The pole is almost done. I'm just going to push everything forward. Caitlin, leave it is down to 51%. What? 52%. Okay. Okay. 51%. Oh my God. I mean, really, I think either way is going to look cool. Yeah, well, yeah, whichever way is going to be great. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be mad either way. Oh, my gosh. 51%, Caitlin. Crazy. Like, 20 seconds left. Oh, my God. Guys, get in there and vote. <laughs> oh, it's back up to 52%. <laughs> the Leavitts are fighting for their lives. <laughs> yeah. Quick, Caitlin, Caitlin make Photoshop, Photoshop. a mock-up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll look the exact same, just with no line. <laughs> oh, Caitlin, forbidden, forbidden slushy the edges. No, probably nah. not. I feel like that doesn't go with the theme. No, yeah, you're right. I love the forbidden slushy, but I feel like it might be weird. Okay, there's there's only eight votes apart. 51 to 59, eight oh votes God. apart. I think I think we might also be being trolled. I wonder if they're trying to make it 50-50 just so we have no choice. Or just so we have to make the choice. Do you think chat would conspire against us like that? Oh my gosh, it ended with four votes apart. <gasps> 51 to 49. Oh my gosh, so it's no, it's no clear decision from chat. No we gotta, clear decision. We gotta make a call soon. Let me look at it from the other side. I think my main worry is that I feel like this looks kind of unfinished. Now, it might look more blank if we fill it, like blank in the center. Yeah, because because this Because it adds, won't be a good mirror. This adds like uh, another element to it, another mark. Yeah. You know? Maybe if some of the edges were like smooth, like if that was, like if it looked more finished. Yeah, like if this is smooth. Yeah. But like this isn't. I could well, always... Wait, wait, no, no, I want to add more. I just want to push it. Well, she's playing a dangerous game, y'all. Yeah, it's not going to work. <laughs> I think that there's a beauty to the imperfect glob in the center. 
Technically, Leave It did win. Technically, Leave It did win. But I know that Caitlin kind of wants to fill it. And her opinion is very valuable to me. Your opinion is also very valuable to me. I'm just trying to smooth out some of the lumps. Smooth it a little bit. It's difficult. It is difficult. I also don't want to spend a bunch of time like pushing them back because they're all going to slide off. Yeah, at this point, they've all pretty much settled. I think let's leave it. Okay. Technically, that was the end result. Okay. So let's leave it. It's looking really it. nice. Okay, guys, let's give you a tour. Let's give you a tour of what everything looks like right now. You've seen the top down of this. Whoop. All right. But here it is from, from a mobile perspective. Beautiful. It's looking so nice. We love it. I love that so much. All right, Caitlin, can you give us the rest of the tour? You want me to? Yeah, like be the on-camera talent. Oh, yes, I'd love yes. to. Okay. Let's go over to where we started. Ooh, look at our Jupiter mirror. Look how shiny and bright it is. Wow. It's developed a decent amount. I know. You can the still places see me. Where we look, look, look at this. Over here, it's darker. You can't see me as well. But over here, you can see me really well. Yeah. And everywhere where we drop resin really made some interesting cells. I think that's very cool. Yeah, this one's fun. It's a bold, bright look. It is. But it's interesting. Let's go over, what do we do next? Ocean? Uh, I don't know. I think we did ocean, ocean next. Ocean, yeah. Look at our, our very frothy waves. Our very frothy waves. But, but hey, your leveling worked. It, d it hasn't slided it hasn't slid off. anymore, so that's great. Yeah. And then, ooh, I feel like this has become even more saturated. This is so nice looking. Yeah, this is the one with the iridescent film and a bunch of rainbow yeah. of alcohol inks. It's going to be really hard to like get the full effect. I'm trying to find the right angle for it. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. Okay. And then we had the geode with our crystal slush. Geode's looking pretty good. It looks amazing. This one hasn't changed too much. I'm still loving the uh, the glass shards. Yeah. And then we ended with the flowers, which you just saw. So yeah. there we go. Wow. Fun stuff, guys. Wow. I'm still like honestly amazed all the time about what you can do with resin and how many different techniques there are that we haven't tried. And I'm really glad that we did this today. So it's the next day. We just came in to check on all of our resin pieces. And they look great! Yay! Focus? All right. <clears throat> I honestly thought that this iridescent one was going to be my favorite when we were planning this stream. And I do love it. It's beautiful. I love all of them. But my number one favorite, should we point on three? Oh, well, I have two favorites for two different reasons. So I'll point at both of mine. Three, two, one. Oh! So this is the one I'm most excited to put in our house. The flowers. The flower one. And it's the one that I was kind of the least enthusiastic about going into. Same here. But this is the one that I think is the coolest. Like. It, it, the cool factor is just so cool. It's so <laughs> like, strong. The colors are so cool. The mirror effect through the resin. Yes. Like works so well. Mm -hmm. And it works more in this one than any other. Yeah. And I just think it's so cool. This is going to be my number three because of how cool the effect turned out. What's your number two? Oh, yeah. The ocean. It's just my aesthetic. The ocean's just always cool. It's, it's a little bit boring in terms of the other things that we've done but I still like it. It's a classic. It's a classic. And our waves did end up looking pretty good, even though um, they def the white definitely wasn't mixed on that last one. <laughs> I think the geode was cool. We learned some fun techniques. Yep. The ear doesn't, the color just got really dark on it over and I don't like it as much. It, 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 the iridescent's almost gone. Yeah, like the colors completely cover it and they, they're not as nicely blended looking I, when they're all uh, like more saturated. I almost think that just like a plain iridescent Sheet is cooler. But it's still, it's cool. You know, it's cool. It's, it's still cool. cool. It's still cool. I, I love them all equally. In the end, 
I had a really fun time doing this. I could see doing more resin <clears throat> art on mirrors. I'm glad we tried these experiments. Now, where are we going to hang all of these? In the bathroom across from the toilet.